Uh, TBGS, uh, check out a game space again. Uh, just build a game with all your fun uh, sea creature dancing meat. <laughs> all the sea creature dancing you'll ever want. Um, <laughs> didn't know you wanted. All right, so. <laughs> okay, yeah, bring it up so everyone can get be heard if they comment. So, to just remind everyone the craziness that we have. Um, it's not fully polished. We're basically going to be polishing it. Okay. So this is what we have right now. Oh wait, I'm on the wrong. Whoops. Oh, oops. And I don't want to have an ad. Uh, there we go. Show them All right. I want to make sure I start on the start screen so the music will start. Apologies. Okay. And I'm not hearing music or it's kind of dark. I hear something. Yeah. Oh, headphones are plugged in. Oh, my headphones. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me check. Lifetime. I don't really last that long. So let's, see, let's see what happens here. Um, I'm not sure what particles. Just, it is possible to like go into deep mode. I didn't start on the circuit, yeah, so that's pressing the button starts the music. Can we just liked it better, which is silly, but <laughs> yeah, we're no one's hearing me talk right now. I'm not sure why they're why it's not side. That's a good question. I mean, I could check by with debug mode. That'd be really easy to, to see if there's any buildup. Thank you. 
got some, it's a funky shape, but I don't, I don't think so. It shouldn't, there's something, oh, the collider, collider? No, it's not, it's not, not for the, the shape you're, you're, sorry. Don't look at my desktop. It's, uh, <laughs> um, the glow sticks, yeah. Um, they're, so they look kind of funky, but there's, they've got like an effect on them. Yeah, they're just a rectangle. Yeah. No, I wouldn't think so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think so, but we can see what instance if, if there are any instances that are accumulating. So we can just see, see what's going on there. And it looks like, oh, okay, let's see. Obviously, I need to add another condition to, to find that. Okay, and then the exhaust. Of course, the exhaust would become would grow as the flying saucer would grow, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that explains that. So I just need to find a place where the flying saucer is spawned, and only make sure it only spawns once. The problem is having overlapping instances that are exactly the same place. <laughs> uh, okay, I can switch somewhere to find. Audio properties? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. This will. Oh, okay. That's not advanced. Properties. Regular properties. Default, whichever one that we. Okay, let's try this. That's weird. We've never had to do that before. I think that might be right. Right. We'll have, we'll, that see, looks better. Yeah. we'll see what Nephron Hunter says. <laughs> For those who don't know that she's my sister. <laughs> okay. So, off to find where it's called. She sent the smiley. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> she said it's fixed. Fantastic. Wow. Wow. But she's, she's on. She's a uh, oh, spawn exhaust. Mm -hmm. spawn, spawn created. Exhaust. Fish points. Oh, that would that be happened. why. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. Wow, true. Tank frame rate. <laughs> yes. While true equals true. Yeah. Oh, uh, no. Okay, I'm just going to. This is probably not the most. The best way to do this in the, in the most ideal way, but I'm just going to be like, uh. We're in the end, the end yes. goal for this, yes. so we just, Saucer. <laughs> just do whatever solution works. Saucer. Cool. It doesn't have to be a real bowl. Okay. All right. And where was that? Condition. <sighs> okay. 
Here variable, saucer rule equals zero. Done. And we will also add action. Set value. Saucer rule. <laughs> Two one. Done. Okay. Hopefully that should work as expected. Actually, I probably should do that in debug mode. And of course, I've got it looking at itself. All right. Debug mode. Oh. Now we have our music. It's a lot more fun. Mm -hmm. Definitely feels more like a party. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there we are. All right, yep. We have two flying saucers somehow, though. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the second one? It's probably oh, right behind the first. Actually, since it's an object, it has to be. I know if it doesn't, it shouldn't bug me because it actually is correct. Because in order for something to be spawned, it has to exist in the in the in the, in the layout already. So. Mm. So we zoom out. Yeah. So it yeah, there be. it is. There's the other one. So, so there should be two. That's correct. I mean, we probably could have it be destroyed, but I don't want to. I'm not going to be that neat about it. <laughs> Is there any of these other actions that needs to take place while um, mm -hmm. saucer pool equals zero? Um, no, this is all set. So it's the behavior happens, bull behavior is enabled, so that doesn't have. So basically, what I've got is it, it's constantly, that's why it looks like okay. it's moving. It's uh, bullet, bullet behavior has been enabled. I spawn it on layer two, pin the, cu the sea cucumber, stop the animation of the sea cucumber, which I only should do once. And yeah, so all of that. Okay. <laughs> it's a good check, though. It's yeah. always good to check. <laughs> we should go back and fix the. Um, particles then too, because now the particles are. We know the particles aren't an issue. Yeah, it's true. Let's let's make lots and lots of smoke. <laughs> now we got so much smoke. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> All right, that's game layer. Click on the smoke. I don't remember what the numbers were. Oh, it's three seconds. Whatever. <laughs> you had it at fifty, and it was two seconds on a timeout. Uh, two seconds on a timeout. I feel like I did something else, but. All right, sounds good. <laughs> so cool. All right, um, good. Thanks. All right. Uh, QA my own cook, my own stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I work as a QA. Yep. All right, I've mentioned it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, it's so humbling to make games. <laughs> Okay, so we have our block of global variables. All right, so I'm trying to think, what's the, what's a good win condition or lose condition? <laughs> All right, I don't have a, a lay of the um, uh, let's see, projects. Oh, what did I just do? Oh, I just made you pop out. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not. I usually have more screen screen space. Yep. <laughs> Projector. All right, I'm gonna save my work. Let's see what that little star meant. Um, let's see. Uh, all right. Sorry, I'm kind of losing it a little bit. <laughs> I need to focus. I have a start screen and a game over screen. Well, I've got my I've got my uh, game over screen, which I haven't yeah. done anything with really to speak of. I could do some like little messages or something. So Ooh. what so what happens? Mm -hmm. Right now, because do we have like a 
Like what conditions do we have at all? Because um, we just have to score going up and down? We just have the score going back. Yeah. This, to the, the, the two scores. We've got the cucumber score and the, and the uh, crayfish score. So. I wonder, I guess just mm -hmm. going from, well, maybe we should just play the game like once or twice and see like where the balance can be. Because okay. like I think we want to like we want to have it so the presumably if we want this to be a game, <laughs> um, we want the the crayfish to have like a good chance of like winning or something. Right, a good balance to to to, to winning. Yeah, so we basically have up and down like um, dancing a little bit gives you little small number of points. Getting hit by stuff takes away points. Um, <laughs> How does the crawfish gain points? The crayfish gain, they're gains fish by dancing, but that's only small, or, or hitting the, uh, the, the dance point. So it's kind of like those footprints kind of thing for like a dance move chart. So that, that's the idea. <laughs> so you're dancing to, you're following the right dance moves, but it's random. Isn't there like a, a mouse dance game? I, I think it's don't. Japanese. I've seen someone play it before where they have... Oh, so? Yeah, that, that's it. I'm not familiar with it, but I mean, uh, we just came up with this <laughs> without being aware of that game. <laughs> no, I know. I'm just thinking you might be able to take some inspiration from them. Uh, you could have um, a score that both of the people are trying to reach, and it's a race to get there first. That's a good point. That's a good way of doing it. You might want to find a better place to put the scores, though, because top left and top right corner uh -huh. work if you're not trying to follow an object around the screen, uh, it might be a little bit difficult to concentrate on looking at those numbers mm -hmm. if they're really important Right. while you're trying to dodge the confetti or the glow sticks mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm, that's true. At the same time. It is hard to keep track of the score while I'm dancing around. You could pin it to the character. That is true. Hmm. Or you could represent it as a bar that's filling up. If you mm -hmm. want to go with the race idea, mm -hmm. and then you could pin the red score to the enemy uh, cucumber, maybe. I don't know. No, that, that makes sense. We could have them both. Well, let's see. We could try pinning it. It would. It's easy enough to to to, to try that out. Um, I like the idea of pinning it. Yeah. I mean. If it turns out to be absolute crap, you can just change it. Well, I, I don't think it'll be absolute, cr well, absolute crap, <laughs> so I, I appreciate the uh, input. So we just need to add pin behavior to both of them. And Does it automatically center itself, or do you have to move it on top of it after you pin? Um, it'll probably need to be right on the, the object, so we'll probably, I'll probably need to zoom in, kind of get an idea of where I want the object. Uh, the, the score to be on the object, like in relationship to the object. So if we have that sort of layout, they're pinned. It's pinned. Let's just try this and just see, see how it looks and then we can tweak it. All right, on start of layout. And then what we'll do is, oh goodness, which one is which? Cancel. I don't mess this up. Okay, that's text. I'm should guessing we, this is probably text too. Yeah. Okay. Should we name the text objects? <laughs> that might be a good idea. It's <laughs> probably good practice. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that's good. I actually. Cucumber. Score. And then. Yeah, I. I mean, it's construct. It's easy enough to like. Yeah, crazy. Just, just make a million things. And then name them later. Yes, that's that's one of the benefits of, the, of this. Uh, okay, now now let's have it pinned. All right. Um, so we have the crayfish score next. Wait. Yes, pin to an object. Or double click. Since it's the it was a crayfish score, so it's to print into the crayfish position. I think that's where I'd 
If not, we can we can always fit it. We can always redo it. <laughs> to match the angle? Does the angle of the crayfish ever change? I don't think so. Well, no. oh, it does flip. <laughs> the score just turning around in the end. That would be kind of funny. Let's, yes. let's see what, let's see <laughs> let's what, see what, what it looks, looks like, like first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to be serious about this. <laughs> it's not hard to change something. <laughs> no. <laughs> it is very easy to, to, to change it as we, as we feel. All right, let's do this. Start dancing. Oh, no, it's not flipping. That's good. Maybe it's oh, probably because there. you're not changing the angle of the object, you're changing might be the just, angle of the sprite. That's probably, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, it's been a few weeks since I've, I, I, I implemented that part. Okay, yeah. Score that's it. Nice. usually makes a lot more sense now. I can understand who the score is. Yeah. Yep, that, that does make sense. more sense. <laughs> there we go. Cool. All right. Yeah, good idea. I think it, it looks much better. <laughs> I think it, it is a lot. I, I, would, I would lose track of the score, so I think that's a really, that, that works a lot. A lot better. Okay. So we got that. And what we probably want is a particular, we want, do want to indicate what score you want to get. <laughs> so right now we're just going as long as possible. <laughs> What if you have a base, kind of like a variable, like it needs, mm -hmm. like to when your score needs to be above a certain amount, while being like mm -hmm. over a certain percentage more than mm -hmm. the sea cucumber? Uh, kind of like tennis, where you have to beat by two points or something, but kind of mathematically made. You could mm -hmm. always just have like level one is. <laughs> get to 2,000 first and then just multiply that variable by like mm -hmm. 1.2 or something so every mm -hmm. level is 20% more. Mm -hmm. Oh, we got that. We already have like hard coded yeah. things already. Like yeah. say, uh, winning would be you have to have at least 2,000 points mm -hmm. while having 25% more points than the sea cucumber. Mm. How do we communicate that to the player though? <laughs> uh, beat it by X. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. it might be easy enough. So I don't mm -hmm. know how confident you feel about doing a progress bar. Progress That's what I was kind of thinking uh, as well. Ah, uh, progress bar. Because, yeah. mm -hmm. like, that could be something where it's just like, you know, it just loads over the. Progress bar? Oh, sick. They have a <laughs> built in. <laughs> well, it's like, uh, I think that's like a. It's like a Windows progress bar or whatever. It's oh, not like um, a. Do they have like a sprite, sprite masks? Bar. Yeah, I can look up a. Because if you have a sprite mask and you can scale it, mm -hmm. you could have a sprite mask over top of like a sprite that's a rectangle, and then just slowly move the mask up the way. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, I know. I saw an in-app purchase one. We can say you need to spend X amount of money before you go in. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how I make money to get it done. You'll just take a fraction of a cent every single time. <laughs> yep. Brilliant. No one will know. <laughs> <laughs> Could try messing around with it. Like this is how it looks like in Firefox, at least. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's. Uh, maybe so. it'll give you a configurable progress bar that you can change stuff about. That's yes, it, I think so. I have actually. Mess I do remember messing with it, a progress bar at one point. It, it it didn't go well overall with the game because I tried to do too much with the game, but <laughs> yeah. it was Hunter, during. Sorry, mm -hmm. Ephraim Hunter says you'll tell the player it'll be. You tell the player will be a surprise when you win. <laughs> just like, the just surprise like surprise. is please give me money. Yeah, please give me money to find out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's the result of the game is locked behind a paywall. <laughs> After about 30 seconds mm -hmm. of playing, your mm -hmm. score and the enemy score fade out. <laughs> There's no indicator of who's winning at that point. Yep. So we got our I could insert a progress bar. Just imagine it. Yeah. 
put something out here at the bottom. And then it has like a value, a maximum, a tooltip, initial visibility. Is there anything else you can change that? The size. <laughs> you yeah. can't change the color or anything? It uh, said there's like some hmm. advanced scripting you can do. <laughs> you have to do, yeah, it's like CSS style you have to set and stuff. Because uh -huh. it's like designed for like browser windows more than an actual game object. Ah, that's um, okay. But we could probably, I mean, for the purposes of tonight, we could yeah. make it a game object. Yeah, I mean, just, or you mean just make a, a game object and it's not do the property, it's not do the... <laughs> yeah. You could also have like a who's currently winning thing at the bottom, wow. like uh, mm -hmm. a crayfish and a sea cucumber at the center, and then it's like <laughs> a tug of war when you're winning. That's kind of what I was thinking. Mm. That's true, yeah. You got a tiny one for... Mm. Cool. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the progress bar. Yes, I'm cleaning up the progress bar. So we have like a an object down here that tell, tells them. Let's see. That's going to be a bit. You have to different. script that separately. <laughs> you could essentially mm -hmm. probably require a little bit of uh, math, but you could essentially have, say, just a green square and a red square, and then you can have the size of it change to take up. You know. yeah. yeah, I think you just have to divide it over the total amount of space. Right. Okay, I think. Uh, okay, so what we'll do is, oops, let me think about this. So, uh, problem is, I don't know if it's easy to make an op a single object that would do that. So, it would probably have to be a combination of objects. You have one object as a container to hold it. Mm -hmm. uh, one object in the center that is one sprite that has both of the images on top, and then you just move it left or right of center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't know how to do that construct though. <laughs> no, but I actually do think. Yeah. To, uh, um, you could have an object and then two waypoints, and then move it between zero progress towards the waypoint mm -hmm. to one. 100% progress towards the waypoint, and then at point five is a tie. Mm -hmm. Is there or a theoretically there? one huge object that has essentially, essentially the object would be double the width of the layout. Mm -hmm. Half of it would be green, the other half would be red, mm -hmm. and then actually, you set you set the origin point to the middle. Actually, I think if you could have just one object and one have have a green object, have a red object on top of it that that would just kind of eclipse it. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of the easiest way to do this <laughs> with my brain the way it is, and then just move. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll do that. We can implement any other. Yeah, I think I, think I got this. So I'll just make a. Um, no. Insert a new object. Screen. All right. All right. Uh, green bar. Green bar. <laughs> good, good name for it. Just make sure it's the right green color. Make sure it's actually green. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, come on. Here's my green bar. Uh, between globe to a... And somehow I, I made the wrong type of object. That's yeah. an <laughs> that would be very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> the green, green bar is an array. <laughs> Let's move the array. Yeah. <laughs> can't see my array. <laughs> green bar, new green bar. All right, there we go. That, that explains why it wasn't working quite the way I expected it to. Uh, it's probably the right stuff. Okay. I'll start. I'll start with this AI concept. Well, somebody's having fun out there. <laughs> What's going on out there? No idea. I think it's the uh, beer cycle. Oh, whatever. Oh, that thing again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, like, it starts at my work, and it's like the worst thing. <laughs> oh, no. Like, because I'm right at the footsies, footsie magoos or whatever. Oh, okay. You yeah, like that works? Okay. And then I have a new object. 
Who is bright? Red. Red bar. Red bar. <laughs> From that radiation. Totally red. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, what's what's the red color that I have for Is there an eyedropper? Yeah, there's an eyedropper. Just uh not sure which wood to go with. Or where to pull. use the red from the score. Yeah, it's kind of thin though, so that can be a little bit that can get a little dicey on, on screens. Oh. So just use the, the red squares above. Yeah, it does it doesn't wanna Oh it doesn't. It doesn't want to um, do maybe it. Maybe it'll only pick stuff from inside the actual frame. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can check the RGB values of that though. Yeah. Yeah, I can figure I can do that. Or I can. It's do probably it. just two fifty five red, right? In this, two fifty. In this case, it's two fifty five. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure it didn't. That I looked at the text. That's what I really wanted to go with. So, so, yay. Two fifty five. Zero. Yeah, I, I, I'm not really, I don't know, I, I don't pay too much attention to color <laughs> most of the time, not artistic, so I'm like, I don't pay attention to that very much. Okay, oh, I thought you were closer to the edge. You can nudge it. Let's see. Are you matching on the edges? Of course, I'm eyeballing it. It's probably. That works. There you go. Yeah, it works, I guess. Game developer motto. <laughs> Should we start writing those down? Close enough. <laughs> okay, let's have this. This will be 26. <laughs> Eight fifty three point three three. Sure. Oh gosh. Why can't you just round it up to eight fifty four? Yeah, I think so. I'm just gonna put eight fifty four. What's the worst that'll happen? <laughs> well, well, I'm sure we'll find that. out. <laughs> eight fifty four. So four. Wouldn't you want it to be the same length as the other one? Um, well, I was thinking that default would be half. So they'll be like, they'll start off exactly the same. Can you scale it? Yeah, you can You can scale something. You can change the, the width of something. Oh. Yep. Is that what you're going to do? That's what I'm going to do. You're just going to change the anchor point to the right and then scale it depending on whether you're running or not? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Probably doing this backwards probably be better to do the battle on the pairs. It'll work one way or another. <laughs> okay. Let me just check the positioning of these objects. Oh, I actually managed to line it up pretty good. Okay. Pretty well. <laughs> I feel like I need to write this out on like a whiteboard <laughs> or a piece of paper or something. <laughs> You're trying to calculate how the so mm -hmm. so basically it's going to be like a um, mm -hmm. tug of war thing. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, what I've got it. So I've got to do is find the difference and then kind of scale. Yeah. Essentially, the total. Mm -hmm.
And I just I just have to apply it to the red. Are you going to have to be doing this by pixel measurements? Is yeah, there it'll be pixel. Uh, <laughs> I was just thinking how much easier it'd be in Unity. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, we're doing so, yeah. Well, so, some things are easier to do in Unity, some things are easier to do in, in Construct. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I don't have to worry about debugging <laughs> too much. Yeah. <laughs> I am do that. Figure out what the error message means. Um. Okay. All right. So it's, I'm thinking every tick, which it would kind of, well, I'm going to want to calculate. Um. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of, so mm -hmm. one thing I'm just thinking, maybe like, well, how do you have them set up right now? Like, yeah. are, they, are both of those bars like the full length of the No, no. green is full length. Sorry. No, sorry. Yeah, green's full length. Sorry. Oh, I see. Right. And then I have half length for the, the red. Now, I might have made things more complicated for myself. Yeah, I mean, either way, it's something mm -hmm. scaling the other ones. Yeah, wow. something's going to yeah. need to be scaled. But I made it so I only had to scale one thing, so. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's the thing I'm going to say, because you just have to worry about red then. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. So what's the, what do I want it to look like if red is is winning? So that'd be like red's all the way to left. Yeah. So <laughs> I feel like this is easy, much easier than my brain's making it. But I don't know. I you mean, can it's make a lot your, of math. <laughs> you can make it out. super <laughs> easy if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm. um, you have a single object that starts at zero, zero, right? Mm -hmm. And then you measure up the full length of the screen. Mm -hmm. And then you have that sprite teleport to somewhere between zero, zero, and full length of the screen. And instead of scaling something, you just move the sprite to the location that would match. Oh, okay. So it would just show who was, who was winning instead of... So it would like, so it would just leave them the way they are right now and just have something. Move along that bar on top of it. Hmm. If, you, if you just sort of combine the two sprites so it looks like they're fighting each other, mm -hmm. and then oh. made that its new sprite, and then it's mm -hmm. stuck at the bottom, like smaller. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Still need to figure out the calculations for where they would fall, though. I, mean, I feel like the the red thing could is the red the length the red would be, but yeah okay. It's just a matter of how we do this. Okay. If you really wanted to make it super easy, you mm -hmm. wouldn't have to do an exact calculation. Mm -hmm. You could just have like five nodes and then teleport that sprite between the nodes based on the difference in the scores that you can calculate uh, every frame. That's true. Yeah. The ca calculate the difference and just as many subdivisions as you want. Just teleport mm -hmm. it between them based on the difference. No, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that would make it even simpler. It's cheating, but like <laughs> ninety percent of everything in game design is cheating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't necessarily have to do it the hard way, just because. <laughs> just because you can. <laughs> do it the way that gets it over with. As quickly yeah. As yeah. All right. Well, I'll make that. I can make this. The make it work. Sprite. Yeah. If it doesn't yeah. crash the game, it's working. Yeah. Essentially. <laughs> I always tell the story of like some prototype I had where, well, it was a prototype I didn't start, but mm -hmm. I f definitely finished it. <laughs> oh. Where the last state of it was um, the space bar would just crash the game mm -hmm. and nothing was connected to the space bar. There's like no code at all in the game that like mentioned the space bar at all. Oh, it like just it. hit it and it would just crash. Oh and, gosh. Did you ever figure out why? No. Uh, I think we're working in Unity 4, and <laughs> oh. like a week later, Unity 5 came out, and we're like, hey, this is going to make our lives easier. Let's just restart the project. <laughs> How are you checking for info? I don't know. Right, this is like years ago. Um, if you're checking for key codes, maybe, I don't know. I, well, that's why I think I did look for key code stuff, but I think it was just some weird, like basically there was just several hundred plugins dumped on top of one another because it was wow. a very well 
the full story of it was it was a project for a class that was never intended to actually be put into development. Oh and no. I was for a summer the professor was like, Hey, let's just put you on this and just keep working in it. And it's like <laughs> I, I don't know what and and none of them did any like I mean like, you know, they they made the game work, but then it's like, hey, this is just duct tape and glue. I can't like <laughs> anything out of this. Uh, and then Unity Five came out. It's like, hey, we start over. Just start over. Yeah. With, a, with an actual <laughs> set of architecture and a plan. Yeah. Mm. It did work out a lot better. That's uh, good. Uh, uh, good old Kim. Yep. And this is old GIMP. I need to update it so badly. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? But it ain't broke. <laughs> uh, I should update my OBS. Oh. Yeah, Baba. I should. From Baba is you? Oh, that's uh, Baba Duke, actually. Oh, from Baba Duke. The witch. <laughs> it's a house book. with the <laughs> bird legs. I actually haven't seen that movie, but we, we, uh, we did a, a game for Boo Dare, and um, there oh. was a. Picture that. <laughs> no, the Baba Duke is something else. I was thinking of the Baba Yaga. Oh, okay, Baba Yaga, yeah. Okay. That's the, the, is that a witch the Eastern European folklore. She's a witch who lives in a house, and the house has bird legs, and it walks around. Yeah. Oh, that makes that makes sense. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> I'm sure, it did to someone. <laughs> sure. At least, yeah. Someone sees a tree house for the first time. Mm -hmm. My God, it's your your house on bird legs. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, let's see, where is my, I've got the TVGS, oh goodness, build a game, it's like right in front of me, okay, we got our blue lobster, oh yeah, okay, now we just need to flip them around, it's <laughs> a really high resolution picture, <laughs> for something that gets scrunched to take up like a 16 yeah. screen. <laughs> We, we needed a picture of, well, it was supposed to be a crayfish, but it's actually a lobster. <laughs> well, our uh, chinchilla from the last uh, build game was uh, actually, what, a mouse or a rat? Or yeah, something, something like that. Uh, <laughs> fraud. <laughs> yes, we are terrible about that. <laughs> uh, is, there, is there like a, a, pit, a pixelate mm -hmm. transformation you could put over this? If you shrunk it, you could just make like a little 16-bit lobster? <laughs> I, I don't know. That's probably possible. It's some kind of um, filters. I don't, know, I don't know if you well do the thing you're going to do first, and then yeah, I got I got to figure out what I want to do though. Step like, two is probably to get the other one onto another layer and then just yeah. arrange them and then flatten the layers together. Yeah, I want to flip it and I'm like blanking on how to do that. <laughs> Transform. Oh hey, there it is. There we go. And then yes. Uh, Open those layers. We've got our little uh, sea cucumber friend here. Sea apple cucumber. Oh sea man. Sea apple cucumber, yes. Delicious. <laughs> Indeed. Crunchy. Oh, wait, no. Now aren't upon the wrong layer. <laughs> no, yeah. Alright, I think I need to resize the layer. <laughs> uh, let's see, transform? No, not transform. Scale layer? Scale layer. Let's see. Uh, let's start with half. <laughs> 1034? Yeah. 1034. And then. Oh, okay. You missed the three in there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> of course I did. There's scale layer. Ten, thirty, four. Oh man, if you want to be really fancy, you could put like a little fake explosion detail in the middle. <laughs> or cross the swords or something. Oh yeah, yeah. If I were an art, <laughs> an art type person, I could definitely do something cool with this. <laughs> do you have guides on right now? Guides? Yeah, just vertical lines, you know, where the midpoint of this image is. Uh, that's a good point. I think you can click from the area with the hashes on the top and drag, and it'll make one. So do you see the numbers that say 750, 700, yeah. something like that? Mm -hmm. Click and drag on that. Yep. Click and drag down, maybe. Oh. There's okay. one. 
and then try and find the midpoint. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of zoomed in right now. I don't know. Oh. What did I just do? Oh. You might also want to like shrink the canvas size for both of those. Yeah, I was thinking of kind of cropping, cropping it, and then like, and then I could just make it a little easier. Mm -hmm. Uh, image, uh, crop to selection. There we go. Okay, I'm not sure what I did with this line. So this Somewhere. Yeah. What? I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing. I'm not uh, that knowledgeable about art. I feel like there's a way to get it halfway exactly. Um, you could turn on something like um, Snap. Snap, yeah, there's. Okay, how do I get rid of these things? Necessary to. I, I'm overcomplicating this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's okay, I'm like not really knowledgeable about this stuff, so. Okay, I'm just gonna Z until I get rid of Okay, and then I'll just crop it. <laughs> I, I'm just not very, very knowledgeable about. Um, I've I've definitely heard those terms before, but I would not know how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try to, yeah. I, I'm. Okay. Image. Crop to selection. Uh, of course, I might want to scale this a little bit smaller. Feels like that would be just a little bit smaller. All right, actually, you know what, cancel, let's do something else. Let's do it. How big are you? I don't know how much. I don't have any info on this, do I? It should be somewhere I can get info on the size. Perfect, right? No. <laughs> I don't think anyone would say that. <laughs> yeah. Maybe your sister, but. <laughs> no, I, I. No, she probably just wants ponies in it or something. I mean, mm -hmm. like that. Not so random. She's always asking me for a pony. I got her a My Little Pony a few years ago. <laughs> How old is your sister? <laughs> she's like. She's like. She's like. A biology PhD right now, so she's in her gosh, she's like in her late twenties. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll turn off the judgment. <laughs> I, I apologize. She's a, she's a, oh. she's a kind of you know, she's she's a goofy, goofy person who's very strange and you know. a free spirit. <laughs> Everyone's goofy. A soul without bounds. <laughs> She's upset you forgot how old you are. She is. <laughs> she, okay, I can figure it out. I can figure it out. <laughs> there, yeah, anyway. Um. There's like, I, I keep forgetting my brother's age and then I like went <laughs> off like I was intentionally forgetting and he gets so upset. It's <laughs> like the funniest thing. No, oh, of course I knew. <laughs> I knew this whole time. <laughs> Yeah, um, he's 28. <laughs> That's what he is, yes. <laughs> right there, see, I remember Jess. <laughs> <laughs> about the scene? Yeah, you just have to make them meet in the middle. Yeah, let's have them crop it, crop the like, image. Like, 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 yes, kiss, kiss. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Uh, crop selection. Yeah, it looks about right. Yeah. Well, well, cool. How big is the canvas for the Seattle cucumber? Is it the same size as this one? 
Well, it's, it's, it's a smaller, it was a smaller size image. Oh. We started off with a smaller size image. Now you just have to rasterize the flatten, I guess. Mm. Rasterize? Turn it into pickles instead of uh, vectors, if in case it is. Mm -hmm. I, I remember that being a necessary step sometimes. Okay. I think only with text, but uh, I could be completely wrong. You could just right click the layer, I think, and merge down. Yeah, I could think it, I think it. Yeah. Merge down, and then we can export the PNG. That's what I've been doing so far with all of these. Yeah, gotta have that transparency. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. She says, I'm gonna introduce show Shoggy. Oh gosh. <laughs> That's the, the nickname for our. Um, uh, <laughs> I, I am uh, pregnant, so <laughs> his nickname. Sh Shoggy? Shoggy. Shoggy? Shoggy. Got yeah. a one in the <laughs> Shaga. Oh, Shaga. Okay, all right. Very good. Uh, we're, we're, we're already, you know, going to traumatize this poor kid. <laughs> like, not even You're already, yet. like, you know, <laughs> preparing her to, like, take over the world. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> um, so the full thing she was saying is, I'm going to introduce Shogi to Cowboy Bebop while you're away. No! <laughs> no, also, you better not! <laughs> also, I don't want a pony anymore. I want a miniature horse. Oh, right! That's right. Because ponies are uh, jerks, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, a, like a pygmy horse? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Apparently. A dwarf horse? Apparently, they're, they're, they're actually in the scale of, um... Is it bigger than a pony, but smaller than a horse? Ponies, I think, have a different scale. Or miniature horses are, like, scaled-down versions of horses. Oh. Yes. So, it's the same proportions, whereas... <laughs> Ponies tend to be a little different, yeah, proportion. So, all right. <laughs> Ponies are to horses as dwarves are to people as... Miniature horses are half wings. <laughs> oh, half since the human. <laughs> I'm trying to think of a good analogy. Hey, James. How's it going? Pretty good. Parking is horrible today. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Hi, live stream. Tyler's here. I need to find it, but there's like a, a tweet video today about. Um, <laughs> on a pony farm they discovered their neighbor's corgi would be sneaking in the farm at night and riding all the ponies. <laughs> what? It's like corgi ride a horse. Awesome. It's just it just sat sat like on its back and the mm. horse like, the pony like just ran off and it was like amazing. <laughs> uh, That's amazing. How come the Oreos? <laughs> Alright. Are these matcha candies? Yes. That's it's a milk matcha candy. Hard candy. It's <laughs> cool. It's also called the golden milk. Does this have the same caffeine as the matcha tea? Probably not. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I don't want to be awake for another three hours. Or... <laughs> All right. I'm going to have to lose it. Wow. A <laughs> fighting bar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how well it's implemented it's going to be, but... <laughs> oh my god, that's a Photoshop. It's on screen. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, your sister put a link into Miniature Horse on... Yeah. With, I'm so tired. Um, <laughs> she sent me on a miniature horse? No. Yeah. Miniature horse Wikipedia page, and I just, my first reaction was that's a Photoshop. <laughs> that's not real. Is it the lighting on the, the legs that gives it away? No, I, well, it's just the scale of it. I don't know. If Actually, look, that does literally look like a Photoshop. Yeah, it does. I think it is. I think <laughs> it's the lighting, and the horse is in higher definition than the people. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I was like, I was joking. There you go, Nephron. <laughs> Fake horse. <laughs> Not real. <laughs> oh, if you wanted to be really cheesy, you could have just reuse the turret. Hmm? You didn't need to make a new sprite for that. Oh. I just realized. The turret? No. Yeah, you could have just rescaled it, couldn't you? Uh, I guess. 
Because the sprite for the turret is just a red square. Yeah, that's true, but I, I kind of like, like this better. <laughs> so, it's cool, doesn't it? <laughs> I almost stole your seat, Ryan. <laughs> but I did keep it warm for you. <laughs> okay. How dare you, Carl? <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, now, now I have to actually sit down and do math. See, I was stalling for the math part. <laughs> See, that's, that's how I get art in my game. Like procrastinating on the other stuff. <laughs> good, good call there. Okay, next uh, position. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can't wait until AI progresses enough so people without art skills can just sort of type in the description of the art they want and AI will generate all the art for them. <laughs> Yeah, out of business. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever get to a point where a machine can create art, what makes you think that there will be people making games? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> we've got, we've got uh, actually, J.D. Stevenson <laughs> games for computers to play, so. <laughs> yes, AI is too. Do they get bored? I or is it to teach them something? It's to teach them something so oh, okay. that they can learn. Yeah, he works for uh, Google's DeepMind. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, you're not joking. The no. way you said that. No, no, he uh, actually works for Google Speak stuff. Mind. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I, I, I mean, they're already playing playing games <laughs> now and then, making them. <laughs> Have you, and any of you, heard of Angelina the AI? Isn't she the one who got an interview? And then. Mm -hmm. I have to Google it to make sure I'm thinking of the right one. Angelina made two Ludumdari trees. Really? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Were, they Were they good? good? <laughs> I mean, you can judge for yourself. It's not hard to search. Okay. Was the score that they got more than uh, randomly relentless rumble? <laughs> <laughs> Plausibly. They did get enough ratings for both games. I believe the second game tanked because nobody told them that it was actually made by an AI. While the oh. first one, everybody was like, wow, this is really cool, and that's it. Oh, yeah. Really? yeah. It's, a little, it's a little different when it's an AI. Right. It's also, you know, and there's... I think when you tell people also, that kind of affects the score. Yeah. So, well. <clears throat> Which was exactly the intent behind the user. Mm -hmm. It is cool in here. It is very cool. Yeah. Like Man, it's a little <laughs> cool. We're, we're getting into the time of year when it gets cool in here. <laughs> like this is, uh, like this is running. All right. I just thought the AC was working. I think I did. Tonight, well, were we uh, here? Are we publishing it now, or what's the? Oh, we're not publishing it. We're, uh... yeah. <laughs> I guess we're like balancing it. We're trying to make it. Balancing it. Oh, oh my God! <laughs> balancing <laughs> before publishing? Unheard of. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not doing this right, but whatever. So, in the time that they want to get this, how far has the progress bar progressed? <laughs> <laughs> Then it, then it wouldn't. Uh, Might save you some headaches. Yeah, I mean, what, window width, window, window width. I know it just came up. Oh, well, there it is. Divided by two, right? Yeah. Yeah, there we are. Done. Yeah, and then be confident. Okay. Let's, let's see what it looks like when I when I try. Let's see if it does what, it's, what you think it's going to do. All right, oh, there's nice. a bar at the bottom that's different than this one. <laughs> okay, so you're going to have to normalize it somehow. Yeah. Why is it? Okay, it's going the wrong way. Okay. That's fixable. Oops. That's cool. <laughs> it's kind of working. Progress. <laughs> oh. Now you have to. It's kind of like working like a health bar. 
Yeah. But it's like okay, I, I, I made a bunch of those for the game class. I know how that. I know a way to do that. It's kind of like a um, because there's like two sets of scores, so it's like <laughs> tug of war or whatever. Yep. So showing which side is winning. What? Okay. Kind of is. So the icon is supposed to follow. Too. There's. Mm. Oh wait. We probably need to scale it. Wasn't up. it right before? Because the um the thing was moving to the right when it was good. Oh. Well, I when I hit it, it's going into the green. The green is the crayfish uh, side of things. That yeah. So like when, yeah. So now it's right. Now it's not. Right. Because you're pushing into enemy oh. territory. Oh, okay. So the bar is not right. We got it backwards. Okay. Yeah. So we went right before. <laughs> okay, yeah. I thought the bar was Oops. going back and forth. All right, so All right. just the icon. So, <clears throat> I had it first. It was right the first time. <laughs> Maybe it's just. It's just, I think it's a little, it's not obvious that it's yeah. right. That could be the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's just a game design problem, not a programming problem. <laughs> it's a UI problem. <laughs> yeah, so whatever. UI, you can give it to the UI artist yeah, that's, to deal with it. That's why I like the idea of like the green progressing further along the screen or the red That's what I thought the original of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Could you both? Yeah, both to work. Oh, I just need to figure out how to, how to do it for, for okay, so we were trying, I was trying to figure out a different way of doing it, but um, so right now I want the red bar width to change. Uh, you can set the... I mean, theoretically, what you could do is if you do have, if you combine the green and the red bars into one uh, sprite that's, so essentially have it, have the sprite be double the width of the layout. Mm -hmm. Half of it is green, half of it is red. Oh, set the sorry. origin point to the very middle. And then just oh, change that, so you yeah. can use that same formula. That's true. That is true. Hmm. That's that's why. That's a better way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna get rid of the red bar. <laughs> we're just gonna. All right. Let's see. Um, this, this is five hundred. Not stretch. Not line. No, not center. Gosh. <sighs> Top left, whatever. Fine. Great. Now we just need a red. Boom. That's, yeah. Wait a minute. It blends. It yeah. blends? Why did it blend? Why did it do that? Yeah, because stretching causes it to blend. You need to right. give it the. I mean, it kind of looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't it think does. it's a problem. <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's not what I expected, so. <laughs> We do need to worry about uh, red green blindness, or yeah, red green blindness. Oh, well, we kind of would <laughs> red green blindness. Well, we got the we we'll get the icon. There's so the much game. else in the game that's the whole red and green. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just need to enable the a color blindness. The brightness changes, so it's not completely, yeah. you know. Right. And we got the icons there, so it indicates like. Mm -hmm. What we can do is we can uh, enable a color blindness mode, which does the color filter over the entire thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just enable a shader. <laughs> that would be nice. Mm -hmm. All right. So now we do is just set the position. <sighs> um, let's see, I gotta figure out how to scale this right. I do think we gotta figure out the scaling too, but we'll we'll deal with that too. But, okay. Okay, green bar, which isn't a green bar anymore, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. All right. Um, set position. Wait, is that? No, it's set. You said, you did set X before. Yeah, it's set X, that's right, X. Okay, so what? I actually need to make sure that this is actually double the size of the layout. Uh, let's see. Oh wait, size of yeah, size of the window. Sorry. Window size width is fifty-four. This needs to be um, twenty-five. Fifty-four. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not doing this in my head. Hey Siri, what's 854 times 2? 854 times 2 is 1,708. What was it? 1,708. Oh, 1,000. Oh. It actually wasn't. It actually was correct. Okay, it was correct. Oh, yes. All right. Cool. Nice. <laughs> You can set the position of x to zero. Position, uh, okay. It's uh, under. Right above size. Position, right, okay, yes. All right, so. Uh, wrong variable. That's, yeah, okay. <laughs> zero. But that's going to be like, okay, I know, oh, okay, I see. Right, because we set the origin point to the middle. Okay. Right, right, okay. Cool. Now you just move it between. Um, they can essentially copy the negative screen mm -hmm. width or negative mm -hmm. path screen width. Copy that action but change it to apply to mm -hmm. green bar. Yep. Alright. If I can actually copy it <laughs> to where I want it to be. No, I can't. Uh, right, fine. Let's <laughs> do it this way. Difficult. Alright. Set set well, X. So the Game Maker's Toolkit Game Jam is going on right now, <laughs> and the theme is... This is the first I'm hearing about it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the, the theme? Um, genre without the game mechanic. So as an example, a racing game without steering. Platformer without jumping. <laughs> Shooter without shooting? Exactly. Narrative <laughs> game without uh, words? <laughs> yeah, that's something that I was actually genuinely debating on. Uh, I was starting to put together a list of random ideas, mm. and uh, I kind of don't like any of them. <laughs> oh, what? Drat. That didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a way to clamp that value? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. We are reinventing the wheel. Why can't you just pin the sprite to the thing that's already moving? Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, you're right. Oh my goodness. That, wow. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> wow. Pin behavior. I completely missed that. <laughs> There's always a better way to do it. <laughs> Okay, add action. Yeah. Hit it to an object. I actually learned to love the pin thing in Construct. It's really nice. It makes things super simple. Just parenting. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I was thinking, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I probably still need to scale it, but then if I, I don't have to mess with um. <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> There's the glitch again. That is What's going on this Which time? Which one's real? Oh, that's oh, new. It's yeah. <laughs> 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 I definitely got to get to the bottom of that particular glitch. Okay, we do. I do want to scale this. <laughs> Can't you just clamp it? Hmm? Can't you just clamp it? Clamp it? Uh, yeah. There's a math app. There should be a math function called clamp. Uh, mm -hmm. The concept of clamp is you prevent something from going beyond a certain way. Okay. So okay. if it's like, you know, if the x value was, say, negative 1, and you say mm -hmm. that negative values are not allowed, you can use the clamp function to say mm -hmm. uh, it cannot be less than 0. Okay. Does it have clamp? Does the, uh, yeah, the there should be happen? something, there okay. should be a function. Well, I clamp. think, yeah. Is there mapping? Because <laughs> mapping mm -hmm. would make this a million times easier. Mapping? Mapping. Mapping. Like, you map, you map a range onto another range. Oh, lurping? Um, oh, yeah. Uh, not necessarily lurping, but like... Right. I know what you mean. They do have lurp. I didn't see that. It's map.map. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't used that one yet. Map.map? Map. I think so. What would, you, what would be like a reason to use that? So, say you want a value from 0 to 1, but you don't want to do the math yourself, uh, and you've got other numbers that you want to make into that. So you've got like a... Mm -hmm. Say you've got a bar that you want to <laughs> scale from zero of its scale to one of its scale, which goes all the way across the screen. And you've got health. And yeah. health is out of 50, right? I would just lerp that, but yeah, I know what you're saying. Lerp it? The health bar for the UI thing? Yeah. yeah. 
Because it's 50% of its uh, max and min, right? Yeah. So you could, okay, yeah. But that's why you use map? Yeah, you just it's map like 50 out of 50 or 49 out of 50 to 0 to 1. And you can just change any ratio to any other ratio. Okay, I'll look into that. That's what I did not know. Yeah, I don't want it to, to like end, come to the end too quickly, though. That's, that's also what I've got to do, because I think I need to scale because of that. Um, Does that make sense? Because I don't want it to, you know, I want it to get No, because you're not control. limiting the score itself. You're just mm -hmm. limiting how it applies to the bar. Ideally, mm -hmm. you'd have uh, a max score mm -hmm. constant that you keep, right? Right, I just created that. Yep. When and score. then you divide <laughs> uh, the distance between it mm -hmm. by the max score so you get one ratio. Mm -hmm. And then you map that ratio onto the size of the screen. Oh, right. So, and yeah, so it's how I did that in Construct real time is I had two bars. So, one is the bar that controls the max size, what you're talking about there, mm -hmm. right? So it's always dividing it. Um, it's setting the other bar's width based on the bars behind it. Yeah, that percentage of that. So you get the percentage by like current health divided by max health, that's a percentage. And then you multiply it by the width of the bar that's keeping your max. That's mapping. But that's mapping? Function. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, well. Just <laughs> you put in one number, you put in the other numbers, and it spits out the ratio that you want. Super useful sometimes. Yeah, like sounds good. All that well, I just learned that and do that construct, and then of course all the students want health bars, floating health bars over their enemies. So it's useful. <laughs> it is, but yeah, what? they're trying to run before they can walk. Oh, you should just tell them to make the enemy slowly turn red. <laughs> <laughs> It's fine. Yeah, it looks like it's working. Yeah. So what's the maximum you're trying to get to? That's 10,000. Really? I don't know if that, that's just an arbitrary number I, I just picked. I don't just think it's your... Yeah, it's not yeah. really working. It's not really working right, no. I guess, well, no. <coughs> Interesting. <laughs> How did I not manage to mess that up? Current difference over... You need some more parentheses in there, probably. Mm, Order of operations is messing with it, I think. That's my uh, first uh, guess. I kind of hoping it would be like my dear Aunt Sally, but oh, what? What are you doing? What are you you doing? didn't put in the uh, air code. Oh, okay. I thought I had. Okay. okay. I don't know if that's right either, but what? Uh, I'm 100 percent sure that something in the map is what's making. Yes, yeah, I have to I have to say I agree. If, if, if the scaling isn't working, it's the window it's width <laughs> divided by two is eight fifty four, right? Uh, yeah, but that's like a constant. Um, right. Oh, you know what? I can just do is I just do like maybe I'm just wrong about what the window width is. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's, oh, wait, no. That's yeah, the same thing. It pretty much is just <laughs> smaller. <laughs> Why was it all the way over there? Quite <laughs> right either. Well, you wrote down window width, not window width divided by two. Oh, that's true. That is that is true. Uh oh, oh gosh. Gosh. <laughs> 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 uh, You can multiply it by 0.5 if you, <laughs> yeah. you don't want to do any more. Difficult. I mean, you can make another constant that's just the window width divided by two. That's true. That just seems a little. It's probably simpler. Yeah, we'll just make it a global variable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, what is wrong with this? Actually, let's make an instance variable of the green bar. <laughs> just, oh my gosh. The health bar knows where it should be. <laughs> exactly. You don't know the health bar. <laughs> Tell us where you need to, to be, Mr. Health Bar. <laughs> Divide it by zero. Divide by zero. That would be awesome. <laughs> just, just nuke the program and start over. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, it's two thirds ago. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to add window width divided by two anymore. Maybe we should bring it back to eight fifty four, like the 
fight apparently. <laughs> Start over. The construct. <laughs> What's where's the markers? <laughs> <laughs> Divide by random. We need to write down. Oh, yeah, we, oh god. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Too. Put it back. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, from a game design perspective, this is so bad. It means you have to make all this progress, right? <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Cancel. All right. Okay. My brain is mush right now. Yeah, I... I, I could have told you this at some point in the past, but I can't remember. <laughs> hey, I, I have a degree in physics. So I should be <laughs> We've all done this. I should figure out how to figure out freaking scaling. Can you just like, uh, make the sprite the size of the window and then just have that? Sprite and then just do it in the middle? Oh, then just make it twice the size? Mm -hmm. It is in the middle. And use an image point instead of all this dividing and stuff? An image point? Um, yeah, on the sprites you could indicate like a particular point on the sprite, I guess. Oh, the so like the, you could, but you could also make it other, like the left and the middle. Yeah, I think side. that's what we. That's what we're doing. That's that we made the health bar. Oh well, I guess we're scaling it. We scaled it initially. I mean. So basically, if we lurk between zero and one, where zero is the left side of the screen and one is the right side of the screen. Yes. Oh wow, that's just that. completely wrong. <laughs> so basically what we did is we made the bar double the window width and then set the origin point right in the middle. When did that get moved? Uh, I think because when you move the origin point it automatically like, reorients oh. itself. Oh, okay. Mm. Huh. Yeah, I just remember uh, making new image points are super useful in Construct. I kind of wish something, mm. Unity had something, but they do, they have children. Empty game objects. Mm. No, they but actually do it for a sprite editor itself as well. Oh, you can do it in the sprite yeah, editor? you can actually change the center. With the one you're cutting the... Oh, yes. Okay. Now yeah, you mentioned the that. sprite editor is great like that. Mm. Oh. Somebody yeah. just felt easier <laughs> in the construct. Um, mm. It's choking on me. What's going on? <laughs> Local host decides to take a nap today. <laughs> <laughs> That's close yeah. enough to the middle. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be like a scaling issue. Do you think it yeah. changes based on the viewport? Like if you were to try and open this off. Quick, look, look for the map function on construct. <laughs> <laughs> map function. Okay, okay. Well, I was trying to find that. <laughs> All right, map, map function. <laughs> map function. Construct. Function. Construct to manual. You could also force the width of that thing to be double. Beginning. Well, it is, it is double. How do we use the map function on construct2? Construct.net. Hmm. Oh, see, someone's trying to do what we're trying to do. <laughs> and someone says, there's no map function or any analog to it at C2, as far as I remember. Oh, no. But if your health is on the bar and you want to represent it with current percents, okay. there's a good and easy formula to it. Mm -hmm. Could only just use lerp and then just multiply it by a certain value and subtract. Is it there a lerp value? function then? Yeah, oh, yeah let's do that. There's lerp in function. <clears throat> so for the uh, Frederica obviously knows what lerp is, but uh, for those not in the know, lerp gives you a value between a zero to one. If you were to plug in a value between a certain range and discover where it would fall into that range, with one being uh, whatever is the value to the right and mm -hmm. zero being whatever is the value to the left, mm -hmm. it's linear interpolation in short. Isn't that? That sounds the same as mapping. I wonder what the difference is. Because I, I know thought of when you were describing mapping, but yeah. Well, they they must be the same then. I, I wonder. If <laughs> well, just because I that made the connection doesn't mean they're the same. Is <laughs> It's not a fight. You don't have to do verses. <laughs> uh, That's not useful, thanks. Yeah, I thought there was a function. There is. I don't know what you got to type. Uh, well, you know, typing. I can try just typing lerp and see what we have, what, what we get, what concept yeah. give us. Lerp. I'm pretty sure I've seen it before. I yeah, there that it is. smooth yeah. linear interpolation is slurp. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just imagine the the whatever it is making that noise as it slides around the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's zero. Um, <laughs> right? Are we doing window width here? Yeah, yeah. Window width. Or that would be the max. Yeah. I wonder if 
there's also an inverse lerp. And there's a, there's a In third lerp. value that is. <laughs> I lerp. I, I don't know. What I lerp. You lerp. The percentage for the bar. Is that, um, <laughs> Ferris. One hundred. Oh. Well, yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, so lerp. Uh, the first thing we want to lerp is where your where the score difference is between the. Um, okay. So you would say zero to. Zero. To now to be fair, this. If it's the differences between the score, then division would have taken care of that. Yeah. Anyways, I'm looking for inverse slurp is a better answer. Oh, are we looking for inverse slurp? Yeah. Is that a thing? Is that something that... Uh, Just put a negative sign in lerp now. <laughs> <laughs> is that really? What's the difference between a lerp and an inverse slurp? I've never heard of that before. Uh, inverse lerp takes in a value from 0 to 1, and then you give it a range, and it gives you whatever value in between that range. Oh. It, mm -hmm. Wow, that actually, go figure. It's the universal. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just switching the uh, the outputs and the inputs. All right. That, surprisingly, it's yeah. what it says on the tin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I System expressions. Right. Perfect. That's what we should be. Looking System for. expressions. Well, okay. Unlearn. Unlearn. Un 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Where is it? Unlearned? It's just in the description oh. there, yeah. Oh. Reverse linear <laughs> interpretation. Okay. Or is it real lerp? Reverse lerp? <laughs> anti lerp? <laughs> Wait, is there <laughs> counter lerp? Unlerp. Unlerp. Lerp. Lerp. Okay, lerp. there we go. Everything we need to know about lerp right uh, here. Okay. Yeah, that's if lerp not. abx equals y, then unlerp aby equals x. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we learned something new. <laughs> what is x? Is x in this case? Yeah. It's so for lerp, x is a value between a and b, and y is a value between zero and one. So do we put in? Wouldn't yeah, we try to be getting something? So, mm -hmm. abx. Oh right. Yes. Okay. I get it now. Mm -hmm. I get it. So okay. for lerp, we mm -hmm. put in. Um, the zero and then the screen max, right. if you want a value between zero and one. And then mm -hmm. we put in where it is currently, the x value, and then we get zero and one. So we want unlerp, and we put in the value between zero and one it is, which is the ratio between... I, well, I thought Wait, we, we don't want lerp at all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's why I was looking for unlerp. If we just have a max, <laughs> we just have a max score, this will all right. be this. Uh, let's try this. Okay. Um, uh, we should probably have a text editor to keep track of all the formulas we've entered. <laughs> right, I'm going to do notepad, notepad, not notepad plus plus because I got a lot of stuff. I think notepad it's plus easier plus. if we just define a max score. Okay. So yeah. I have a max score. I have a win, win, it's called win score. No, no, I mean, like, actually, it's a number. Yeah. Yeah, it's a variable that has a number. It's a constant. Okay, what's the number? So 10,000. 10, 10, okay, so that's 10, the max. Yeah. So that would also that would be, be the 854 because that's the whole window width, right? Okay, yes. yes. So wind score is to max window mm -hmm. as zero is to zero. So okay, wait. Just write that, write that okay. down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wind score is what goes to, is like analogous to what? <laughs> the maximum size of the window. Ma yeah. oh, ma what okay. Is it, window, win window. Window okay. width. 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 Okay. And zero, zero is to zero. Zero, zero <laughs> right. Zero goes to zero. Yep, okay. All right, but if really it zeroes out, then do we want it so that the bar just stays in the middle? What? Because what if the score was negative? <laughs> um. Then we clamp it. Okay. <laughs> to zero. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Gosh darn it, you're right. Because we do want it to go between one and so negative, negative one. Yeah, so the negative mm -hmm. wins. Negative is, is a negative lose condition. <laughs> Game's negative. over if it's negative. Then we don't have to deal with it. <laughs> yeah, what, if, what if we get something before? What if you just walk into the first thing? How easy is game it over. to get a negative score at the very beginning of the game versus at the end? Um, it's, it's possible. It's, it's not very negative. Give the player 500 points to start with. But Done. The thing oh, is, we're actually dealing with a difference between scores, though, because we're dealing with, right? Am I, do I have it right there? Is it negative win score is zero? Negative win score is negative 10,000. Yeah, negative win, window width. Yeah, window width uh, times okay. negative one. 
All right, so so as you go. Good, good okay. But yeah, so the way Unlur would work is saying that the range of the value from mm -hmm. 0 to 1 mm -hmm. uh, maps to basically, in this case, window width to 0. Because if your score difference is 0, then that'll mm -hmm. go to um, oh. that'll go to 0 for me. I just realized the difference between map and learn. <laughs> 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 I, I understand why there is a need for both. See, with mapping, we could just specify a negative one as the output. We wouldn't have to go between zero and one always. So. Oh, okay. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> say, say you want an arbitrary zero to whatever. That's mapping. So I wonder why they didn't include it in Construct 2. I feel like you could use mapping for the same thing as lerping. Try looking for lerp on lerp construct. <laughs> See, if I don't wanna. <laughs> I, I got it right I'm here. Sorry, lerp sorry. on lerp. <laughs> Unless it has a different name. <clears throat> so then, with the lerp thing. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So it? what if we what if we what if we unlerp between uh, negative window width to window width and the lerp between. Uh, negative win score to win score, and you enter the score. Okay. So you so there is a lerp embedded inside an unlerp. Oh, fun. Okay. Uh, so what's the lerp? Well, that's an interesting Let's start challenge. with the unlerp. Okay. <laughs> okay. First we un it, then we lerp. Uh, unlerp. Okay. What, what, this is unlerp. Unlerp is from negative window width to window width. What a dumb sounding acronym. <laughs> <laughs> Lerp, 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 lerp. <laughs> no. no. Sorry, I am having trouble putting together words. <laughs> I mean, I think we all are at this point. <laughs> Lerp's not a word. <laughs> Technically, no. no. It's arbitrary. So I did find a JavaScript yeah. function that matches Space the lerp. map function in processing. <laughs> And since theoretically Construct uses JavaScript, we should just be able to do a custom function in Construct. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't processing. This is uh, a negative win no, score. No, right, I know it's not processing, but someone on um, someone asked about Stack Overflow, is there a similar function in JavaScript? And someone said, no, there isn't, but here's a custom function that acts the same way. I think you can, yeah, with plugins or... or okay. Yeah. And, and then uh, the dip. Well, you're forgetting one more comma. Oh right, yeah. And then the difference between the uh, crawfish and the. Uh, right. So we have, and I want to make sure I get the order right. I gotta say in the New York accent, crayfish. <laughs> right. Craw Craw crawfish. 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 Cucumber. Oh. Okay. Crab fathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. You could always oh. just put it in whatever, and then... Mm -hmm. Also, I think you forgot a paren. No, you don't need it. You don't I need to write paren at in lerp? Yeah, there's because there's already a comma there. Oh, right, because there's three things that go into one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I forgot, I forgot. No points. Okay. I mean, it's a good practice to pull it in. I could agree with you on that, but it's not necessary. No, I completely yeah. just forgot that there were three arguments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's it. That's I all. I keep it was. doing that too. Is that so? Is this try so that? And copy paste it. See what happens. <laughs> okay, I feel like there, I there wonder might be what more. it's gonna look like. <laughs> this is the part where we we see it work on the first try, and we just resolve that computers are magic. And <laughs> You're yeah. funny. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> <What>? Oh! Ah, sweet enough. Okay, I think the problem is we're, we still need to kind of scale this, because I mean, I mean, it's... Oh, you know, no, the problem is that we have no clue what we're doing. <laughs> uh. yeah, wait, no, the trouble that. is we have half a clue. Hmm? <laughs> Debug that. I don't understand why this is not working. Uh, I think it's just, it's not... You can, cancel can, you, can you just look at the X value? While it's running, yeah, oh, should be able to. Can, Wait, yeah. if we only have half a clue, can we lerp the half of the clue that we have to a full clue? <laughs> okay, so we want the green bar. Where's green yeah. bar? There we green are. Green bar. Just check that X. 
Uh, so it's currently it's set, currently set to zero, and because the origin is at zero, okay. So so we need <coughs> to add. The, oh, right. We need to add. Yeah, we need so to we can do the actually yeah. on the unlur function. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> so. Do we need to? We <laughs> <laughs> do, do it on the outside. <laughs> outside the unlur, we just adjust everything by half the screen width. Okay. And. The trouble with this is that it's going to map it one to one to the score. So like one point is going to be one pixel. So mm -hmm. you either have to reduce the amount that you're gaining with everything, <laughs> which would be the easiest thing. <laughs> or we have to go through another set of math expressions to, to make it more of an even ratio between. So wait, wait, zero is when, zero is when the uh, whole full red bar is showing, right? Yeah, which we so then, uh, yeah, oh, we no, 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 we don't need negative window score. That's it, right? So no, the instead of negative window width, we should have zero on there. Yeah, it's oh, where? Oh, yeah. here. That'll just turn that into zero because currently we have something we don't need to have. I okay. think that might do it. You don't actually. Yeah, you don't actually need to uh, add that. Yeah, yeah. Saro had his map right. We we're just using the wrong number. Okay, we've got because negative window score is in the left side of the screen. Negative mm -hmm. window score is like. Right, it's all over there. Yeah, <laughs> I was wondering, wondering if I was, yeah. <laughs> no, you were probably right. Yeah. Oh. Well. <laughs> uh, maybe we do need to add the half. Uh, yeah, let's, let's add the half. <laughs> what is the second parenthesis? Oh. <laughs> what? I was just wondering why it looked smaller. <laughs> I mean, why was that wrong? You had zero scores, so that means there was no. Well, it was no, all red. The, the other well, one. Well, you want it in the middle because it's a tie game if you've got zero score and they've and got that, zero score. Uh, <laughs> so that's, that's what I was saying about the. What just happened? What's the X value now? I, I want to know. Just, <laughs> yeah, I, okay. Where's it going in this space? So, problem is now it's, it's over here. This is random using a place. <laughs> we want to go over here now. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to someone else's game. <laughs> They just don't know why there's a little red It's sick and tired of us. And now it's gone. <laughs> okay, what, let's what's go. What's the X step, dude? I, I, Can yeah. we re hit the restart button? A restart? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. And then pause again. Pause. And then check that green bar. Okay, let's find green bar. Yes. There it is. The X is at 286. What's the current difference? Zero. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they should be exactly the same. So let's go back to that function again. Okay. Uh, you can just open Notepad. Yeah, that's true. I can just open Notepad. All right. So we have nice. change. So let's make it what's currently in the game. Crawfish points minus cucumber points is zero. Uh, mm -hmm. When it lurks, that it goes from negative with it. It checks to see where negative uh, zero is between negative wind score and wind oh, score. This isn't the so the lurk function should return uh, zero point five because zero is in between the middle of that. And then, yeah, then 0 0.5 uh, entered into unlur. Right. Entered into unlur. We'll check to see if where the value of 0 0.5 will be between zero and window width. Mm -hmm. And so the answer <laughs> should be window width divided by two. But we're not getting that. We're getting 286. The window width is 1708. Isn't mm -hmm. it? Or is that just the regular? Win that's the is window width is a variable, though. Isn't no, 1708 is, is that double the layout the window. or the window? No. Uh, what's the difference? Yeah, go up real quick and then check uh, the inner, uh, excuse me, check construct real quick. Yeah, I, okay, yeah. Because I, I remember in construct, I, I saw Scroll all the way to the top. What? Oh, yeah, there's window size. Yeah, no, 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 no. Scroll all the way to the top of the screen. Oh. Uh, of the event sheet, I mean. Yep. Um. Wind score. Hmm. Window width. It's interesting that it's called window width instead of window dot width. Yeah, they have separate ones. There's window width and window height. They're their own thing. Mm -hmm. Window width is 854. 854 divided by 2 is 200 and something. Check uh, the 400. 400. <laughs> I was dividing the wrong. <laughs> 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 Which one am I doing? Let me just double check to make sure the window. That's You're multiplying by a quarter, it's okay. That's where we are. <laughs> See? Yeah, it's a sign now. Excuse me. Original window width? This is the Evil bar? 
What is evil mark? Is that yours? Yes. Okay, I was for a second. <laughs> I'm like, what do they have? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 uh, it's a variable. They, the, the the crowd turns evil, so it's firing uh, okay. at you. That's 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 why he starts he starts losing. He <laughs> gets in his spaceship. Yep. See, cucumbers are known for using yes. spaceships in times of duress. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I'm, I'm just double little, checking to make sure it yeah. wasn't like. <laughs> I'm really confused by this. Okay, some, something's not adding up here, so. <laughs> Can we add in some sort of like. I'm so confused. Can we add in an extra global variable where we'll just call it debug variable and then test each and every one of those values and see how our calculation is actually being operated? Okay, so. De debug. Debug. Variable. Okay. Yeah, because this should work, and I'm confused as to why it's not. Okay. Uh, you could put a description and say wh which one it is looking at, like the result mm -hmm. of the first lerp and the result of the unlerp. That way we can have both of them. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, we'll worry. I don't know if it's going to work. Yeah, we'll that worry displays. about that later. Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just would have thrown this away and tried something so else. So the first thing I, <laughs> the first thing I care about on, is whether window width what window width is and then divide it by half and see if it gives us okay. the value we're expecting because something's really suspicious about that. Okay. Uh, so where do I live? Yeah. Yep. Every tick's fine, right? It should be the sure. same every tick. <laughs> it should. <laughs> if it isn't, it'll be interesting to see that. <laughs> so set value. I mean, now is anyone like in the Twitch chat saying we're doing it wrong? Yes, <laughs> I'm kind of wondering that at this point. <laughs> no. Okay. Just uh. No. Just nope. Divided by two. Done. All right. Debug. Pause. All right, where's, where are our variables? There's a global right in there. There was, wait, debug variable? De oh, yeah, it's in. <laughs> what? So that's wrong. Why, are, why is it's it? It's because the window is smaller in the debug one. Maybe you gotta do original window size, or? Well, if we did original, that'd be the problem, right? Maybe it gets resized, and that's what I, the. This is the problem. <laughs> Isn't it? It's 294, that's a problem. Should it not be 294? Maybe the size it of be. this window is smaller, so the number is smaller? Uh, wait, okay. No, um, that, that, press F12. Oh, interesting. F, oh, F12, yeah. Yes. <clears throat> oh, you just want to, like, make it big, right? No. No. Oh, it's that, this. Oh, okay. Go to, um, <laughs> there's the icon right to the left of elements. Elements, okay. Oh, you're going to change the device. You're yes. going to make it look smaller. Okay. Make it act like it's smaller, so then theoretically we can go in there and see if the variable changes. Oh my changes. goodness! Can we actually see this that resolution? Is this <laughs> a game for ants? Do you have to hit play first before it registers. <laughs> okay, we can kind of see it on there. Resume. Click resume. Yes. <laughs> well, it should be. It, should it does update even if it's paused. Okay. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't see. think it would update if it's paused. I don't know what the heck it's saying. Well, Maybe you have to part. control and. Yeah, I'll resume. Okay, I'll resume and pause. Okay. Uh, and debug, debug bar has changed. You it can see looks that? like 400 something. 400. <laughs> <laughs> so I was right. <laughs> it's the current window resolution that is this number. But we can't have that changing in a game. <laughs> it it's got to take the window width into account, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Isn't there a separate variable for viewport? There yours, That's yeah. That's the window, isn't it? Yeah, the window versus... Window, <laughs> try viewport. No, view... Um, Maybe there is difference. So see where it says debug var? Instead of wind, uh, window... Window uh -huh. width. No, I mean, scroll down. You can oh, just sorry, change one line below right there. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, this one. Uh, okay. Instead of window width, see? Search for a viewport. Yeah. Uh, very important. Uh, viewport. Um, width right there at the bottom. Or was that window? Yeah, it was that's window. window. The viewport mm -hmm. left minus viewport right. That's not what I was looking for. Click on the layout and see what the property says for that. Okay, sure. The layout. Uh, layout size. Oh. Uh, it's no, layout. It's not. That's not window. No. Well, why would you this should layout? work. <laughs> this should work because that takes up all 100% of the screen because we resized it so that the layout size is the same size as the window. Yeah, Does that's the right. the start screen so the same yeah. size as the, the game screen? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So instead of window width, try layout 
would it? Layout width? Yeah. yeah. Or something layout related. Okay. Maybe layout What about right? original window width? <laughs> okay. uh, uh, layout parallax. There it is. Oh, wow. <coughs> okay, done. Layout scale? I wonder if there's yeah, a way to you change could... it based on scale. Now, mind you, there our, is, our yeah. bar is not going to change in position, but that number will probably be more correct. Yeah. Pause real quick. Yeah. Not correct, just more correct. <laughs> <laughs> Correctness is, is, is a scale thing. Correct. 427, which is much closer, <laughs> which is much closer to what we're looking for. Was okay, and area? now let's go back Sounds into close to default me. dev mode and change mm -hmm. device type and see if it changes again. Hey, yeah. Viewport <coughs> right is eight hundred fifty four. We could use viewport right as our number for the for the problem. Oh, you're right. Because mm -hmm. that's just well, it's eight hundred fifty four point one three eight nine seven. We should yeah. check and see if that changes too. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll try. I was right. Okay. I think that viewport right though is a. Uh, it then uh, changed. Viewport right does change. <laughs> but does the any layout other stuff? It looked like eight fifty four though, is it? Or am I, am I wrong about that? It's hard to no, see. and before so it's eight fifty four now. Before it was eight fifty four point. I think that's okay. Difference. Points on difference, guys. <laughs> you just locked the resolution so that it can't get any smaller. Wait, did we see if the bug bar changed? I don't know how you... Oh, bug bar? If, uh, it might be an option the over there. Oh, debug the bar cannot uh, change because it's yeah. based off the of layout. Uh, well, we should probably double check just to be oh, sure. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 427, debug bar? I believe that's what it was, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 it was 427. Yeah. All right, so replace all references to window width with layout. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, wait, I need to just close this window here. <laughs> yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Welcome to my world, everyone. Okay. So <laughs> is this what you do all the time? Yes. Okay, so what, too? No. what was it again? It was viewport. Just just trying to figure viewport out what right? the heck went wrong. No, didn't it, didn't we say we wanted to do layout? Yep, uh, layout. Yeah. Layout, okay. Be not layout swayed width. by my <laughs> foolish notion of using <laughs> the right side of the screen <laughs> and layout sort of measurement. Alright, layout width. Uh, I don't think we need plus layout. Yeah, that for the whole plus. Yeah, that's probably redundant. redundant that. That. I think that's yeah. okay. We'll see. Well, let's erase it too. We can put it back in. <laughs> the only thing we're looking for is proper ratios, right? Mm -hmm. If it's half the screen off the right, okay. So as it real is. Quick. Oh, okay. Well, we didn't do that real quick. Yeah, it's not, I, I don't think this is working. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Go back. Go back. Okay. Uh, restart that so that we can at least see what the value is. And then sure. pause. Maybe All right, quickly. pause. Yes. Yeah. There we go. All right, so what, is, uh, what is the well? Debug bar is four twenty seven. Is that where we Well, that was what. Well, that, we that didn't change the thing at all. So, so we're yeah. we doing about the x and, and y. Right? Yeah, and we're looking for the green bar, green bar x value, which negative is negative three. three. Mm -hmm. uh, so it tried to set it to zero for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> so whatever reason it tries to set them to zero, it puts it to negative three. <laughs> It missed. <laughs> How do you miss? It's a computer. Mm. Tara was just so calm about that. Oh yeah, obviously it was trying to hit zero. Are you sure? <laughs> Wouldn't it have set it to zero? Has it drifted? Oh, We've got air currents. Uh, I switch back to construct two. Sounds good. <laughs> We're in the doldrums. I really, uh, gosh, okay, this, uh... <laughs> um, alright, so... Uh, I <laughs> try the right side of the screen, just just for giggles here. Sure. I'm curious. Viewport. <clears throat> Viewport. Right. Right. Yeah, <clears throat> just, just... Let's find out. Oh, oh you need oh, that. Does not take zero for enters? <laughs> it's a function? <laughs> I thought it was like... Yeah, I think you have to do a dot something, right? Um, layer. Oh, no, oh. It's oh, what layer are we on? We're on layer, layer oh. background. Background, sure. They, they should all. Uh, yeah. Maybe. No, that's the image being in quotations. Oh, you need. Gosh. Yeah. You uh, mean parentheses? <laughs> uh, no, no, background is also a background. Oh, also a, a layer. We want the actual background. Ah, uh, because that was the a background. No, 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 quotations. It's, it's expecting oh, you're a right. string. Oh, you're right. That's okay. right. 
Because the uh, yeah, what's fooling me was the sprite was also the yeah. unicron. Yeah, my my poor, poor naming choices. <laughs> you couldn't have known there was a constant hidden something. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea we'd be using this. <laughs> Nobody could have guessed. What's going to happen with this with the, with this uh, building game stuff? It right? all <laughs> seemed so simple. It did. It really <clears throat> did. Just make a thing that floats in the middle and does another thing. <laughs> Right. Well, that's just as wrong as Taro's thing, so I, <laughs> I failed. It's oh, it was trying to zero again. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Oh you know, negative three is the new zero? Well, you know, negative like, three point two zero seven six. You know, computers seven. are going to start from negative three from now on. Base <laughs> negative three. There we go. So we created this debug bar. Let's try stepping through what the heck happened. Oh, which means goodness. that we're going to have to replay this whole game over and over again. Like, <laughs> <clears throat> so the, the first thing that is of suspect to me is the subtraction between crayfish points and uh, uh -huh. uh, the enemy points, whatever we called it. Cucumber, cucumber. Yeah, the sea cucumber. So remove it. So copy the cucumber points minus, uh, the crawfish points minus cucumber points here. Sounds good. Yeah. See if that is crawfish working. Points. Correctly. Minus. I have reason to believe it is, <clears throat> and that's probably not the place that's... Well. So you expect this to be also a negative three? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, naturally, oh. 100, but yeah. it's negative 100, I believe. Yep, there it is. Negative there it 100. is. All right, so that's working consistently. All right, good. Uh, all right. As far as we know. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so next thing is, I mean, uh, sorry. Oops. So the next thing that we need to be worried about is the lurping. Start. I'm gonna actually restart. Just quickly pause before I need to see where it starts. Just, just to see. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank God. All right. <laughs> so there's a whole lerp. Uh, I'll double click one line above. Oh, okay. Cancel. Yep. Yeah, and copy from lerp all the way to the, the second to last parentheses. Okay, so we just get the lerp function and right. see what what it's doing and whether or not it's doing what we think it's doing. <laughs> So what should happen is that this should give you 0 0.5. Okay. Well, when you start, yeah. Yeah, when you start. Right. If All it right. does not do that, then there, that's where things are going <coughs> wrong. Aha. Uh -huh. wow. wow. Negative 10,000. That's close. So <laughs> we've got the results back. <laughs> negative 10,000 is, is the, is the negative score. of our win score. score. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that doing that? Well, well let's just change some of the lerp stuff around, and then we should be like, it's only three <laughs> things, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so maybe we I saw should a negative see? wind score in there somewhere. Yeah, right there. Why, Why is that there? Shouldn't it be zero? I, yeah, come to think of it, it should no, be. put it in the debug, though, one. Uh, but, yeah. No, but that, that, well, Just to see what happens. This is not what I expected. What well, let's see what happens when we, we yeah. just do this, because I yeah. think... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Pause? Wait, then what does lerp do? Through all your expectations. Oh, That's a good question. <laughs> Debug very zero. It should zero. be zero point five. But it's in the same position. But it's closer no, to point five. Wait, why? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. oh no. Did I get my functions in, in uh, reversed? Where lerp is supposed to be one? Well, lerp very because it should won't it return zero because it's. That zero. I think I got my functions points. reversed. So we need to switch which goes where. So instead of saying unlerp, uh, it should say lerp, and instead of saying lerp, it should say unlerp. Do we have to move the variables around too? Oh, just go to no. The, just put an un before in the un okay. debug. The variables are perfectly. All right, fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna do do a new version. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, you don't want to delete that. You just want to. No, write. no. What I'm doing is is. Oh, good. Thank yeah, this you. is. <laughs> <a good laughs> <thing. You're laughs> why I suggested this. Unlerp. Okay. Yeah, so that's we need to uh, no, zero. leave with negative wind score as it is. Okay. We'll see if that gets it right. Yeah, that should get it right. <laughs> Alrighty. So I'll just dump it in here. Yeah. Pass to that in. Please. <coughs> Alright, done. And if it Let's works, find out what happens. Day, huh? And then we have to change the, <laughs> the window. Close. So we're still <laughs> using window score in the one you copied from. Oh, okay. Window. Uh, not background. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. You scared me there. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like, take that serious. <laughs> my math. All right, what, which, all right, what do I have to do now? It's a window width, which is the second parameter. Right, it's the view. Port, right, then in parentheses. No, you have another one. I think we could have just used the layout width. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. 
We're going the extra mile. <laughs> By the way, it's a viewport right, so I think you already knew, but still. Uh, I just typed the wrong. I just ended up grabbing the wrong thing. Wait, no. We need to put them correct. We need to put viewport right. Uh, times two divided by two. Obviously. <laughs> but that'll be negative three, right? Don't forget your parentheses for the order of operation. Oh, oh. This started. oh this hey, is promising! Hey, hey that very looks promising. Surprisingly right. <laughs> okay, let's see what it does next, though. <laughs> I'm for Fisher. Okay. Hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy! <laughs> I got my lerps and my um lerps backwards. I'm All sorry, right. everyone. That's okay. We're good. We're good. We had to re lerp or um lerp. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You just oh. had to put the on. So, lerp gives you a value between the first and the second parameter, <laughs> while um lerp gives you a value between zero or one. It all makes sense yeah. now. Okay, so it all comes together. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Don't you make fun of my intelligence. <laughs> 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 right. yeah. I promise, I promise. It. It's all good. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Trust us, we're drunk from sleep deprivation. I don't think yeah. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I have a baby brain. So. I don't think any of us understand. I'm going to be up all night thinking about it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna watch this video and be like, what did we do? What are you thinking? I thought they had just done Z. You know, this experience has inspired me. I'm going to make a programming game where there is, you, you just don't know what to program. <laughs> well, it's a game engine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there. It's, um... Why do you bring your made all the variables global? <laughs> um, well, because, you know, they're important. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I think wind score is a little, a little large. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. No, it was a good starting point. Step yeah. it by a different, by different amount, but yeah. You can check a box that says constant, that'd be pretty neat. <laughs> no. <laughs> then it'll be three dollars. I think I'm modifying you anywhere. No. Nope. No, you're not. It's, <laughs> it's just warning you. Yes. Yeah, like, I'm warning you. As long as you know it's constant, you don't have to make it constant. Yeah. Uh, will it you take those wind score? I, I wonder. Evidently, uh -oh. it's Probably. not case sensitive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care about the names of your variables. Who does that? <laughs> uh, smart too. for that. <laughs> we can guess. <laughs> All right, so this it's like super JavaScript. <laughs> no one cares. <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> I don't think I'm quite finished with this game. <laughs> I, I think this is close to done. <laughs> <It's horrible. laughs> oh, I think you're, you're, you're finished. done with it. <laughs> Alright, I, I can Where's the through. music? It's, uh, she oh, didn't go from the start, start screen. Start. That's right, I gotta start from the start screen, otherwise it doesn't work. work. Alright, let's let's see this let's see this game. It does not have the uh, full, you know. Experience. It doesn't have the dance party that my sister wanted, but. Why is that doing that? <laughs> Why is the moon shaking? Oh, it's dancing. You're gonna make me seasick. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we got sea creatures. It's very thematic, isn't it? <laughs> Oh god, no! <laughs> 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 it's a lot of motion in this game, what can I say? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I wonder how long it'll take until people notice that this article effect says yay and no. <laughs> it took me a little bit to notice it, actually. I think. It'd be cool. You have your little like oh people gosh. on the both sides <laughs> cheering for you. The That's a feature, part. okay? It, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Wait, didn't the we set one score to five thousand? No, ten thousand. Yeah, it's five thousand, but it's the difference between the. <laughs> okay. Oh, you have to win by five thousand. Well, we don't actually have a win win screen or anything, so. What happens when you hit? Seven? Oh, we need a win screen now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> 
All right. So actually, no. I actually, I think. Who's yeah, it is. I have no clue. Who I don't know says. that person. They've been <laughs> they've been waving at us all night. How can we say anything? Really awkward. What am I going to say? Like, oh yeah, we've got. There's a person looking at us in the window. <laughs> in the main window. And then we could like, all turn creepily and just stare. Don't <laughs> <laughs> oh, worry, everybody, look. Yeah, we return the. I can't the look very menacing. Favorite. I don't have a very menacing face. Uh, we swear the tech by a game space is not a creepy location. <laughs> no, we've just got giant bay windows. <laughs> That's all. And bars nearby. Which happens, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. If you're in the capital region, come to Troy Night Out and scum Sarah. <laughs> Sarah in the window. We, we may mention you. <laughs> if you're listening to it on your phone, you could, you could have a live conversation with us via the chat. <laughs> <laughs> don't actually do that, please. Please don't do that. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Awesome. Okay. I've, I got to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So we have to have a lose condition and then a win condition. I also need to make a layout for. for oh, thank winning. you very much for having me. Oh, oh sure. Thanks. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't think we've met. I'm Greg, by the way. Oh, nice to meet you, Greg. I'm James. Nice to meet you, James. Yeah. Goodbye, party people in the chat. <laughs> Bye, Tara. <laughs> oh, I didn't, oh, a win event sheet? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> You're going to have to turn off all your other stuff when you win. Otherwise, that thing's going to be dancing around. <laughs> <laughs> so now we could consider, what is a win screen? What, what makes a win screen? Well, I think actually for winning, you kind of do have to have everybody dancing. <laughs> yeah, but differently, right? You whatever want, whatever right, planet right. is currently showing from the last scene mm -hmm. should turn into a disco ball. Oh. Ah. Or you could just have a disco ball <laughs> and they can pretend that it turns. So a Neptune turns into a disco ball. Mm -hmm. You just keep going. <laughs> it should be pretty easy to do. You just have to pull in some little uh, light rays and you can Let's make see. that pretty easily with GIMP. Uh, someone suggests repeating runtime error. <laughs> what? Repeating runtime error. <laughs> That's our loose. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Are they suggesting you emulate the effects of the error we were having before? As the <laughs> well... Just, just use the lerp on the wrong side. <laughs> we should call the inverse lerp. Anti-lerp. Negolerp. Evil lerp. Lerp with a mustache. <laughs> lerp with a mustache. Well, I guess in a way that's a winning... Pixie lerp. A windscreen, because then it makes you get up and... Dance. But yeah, if for the strobe light effect, I was gonna suggest making the actual. Strobe it's not light a bug; effect. it's a feature. Yes. <laughs> and then use the fade property intended. to turn it on and off slowly. Oh, okay. Okay. Why would you want to do that slowly? Do it quickly. Because you don't want to give people like you know. Did you see all the effects on the game? <laughs> yeah, so they give me an aneurysm <laughs> or a seizure. I, 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 it's I, not. I, I don't want to give anyone a seizure. It's definitely not my. Way of. <laughs> it's not really how I like to, uh, to, to do things in my games. <laughs> Giving people seizures. Not Pokemon did it. <laughs> not, still, still not my <laughs> deal. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so what I did was. How did I do this? Again? I really want to show this to the next interactive show. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'd be cool. I'm, I'm good with that. All right. So I just want to check the so game 854. Let's see. Oh, it seems we will also need a lose screen. Yeah, we, we got a game over. <clears throat> Remember, it has to be a runtime exception error. <laughs> <laughs> and since you... Frederica uses Rampy a lot, we can give her the honors. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need that more of those in my life. <laughs> more errors. How, how would you cause that in that construct? 
Um, I mean, reliable. it just has to be exactly like Doki Doki literature. <laughs> the game literally just, errors out. Just what I needed. <laughs> just what I needed, guys. Just Monica. <laughs> Is there a way to force quit construct games um, in the code? I don't know. I, I guess I haven't. I guess I never had a I reason mean, to work. I mean, theoretically, you could do a custom uh, JavaScript <laughs> function of just window close. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was, yeah. I guess I was wondering if there's, because you could do it. You could do application quit in Unity, and you could kind of have that whenever, happen whenever. Everybody's. So I was just wondering if there's already built in one here for construct. Just like you win, quit. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Quit. <laughs> Find where the game is installed. Delete. <laughs> Actually, you probably don't want to have. You know, But, uh, yeah, the way I had it in mind is, um, I don't know if this mm -hmm. is what you're going to aim for. Just make, a, just make like, a triangle mm -hmm. in GIMP, make it white, uh, and then add a fade behavior to it and just plop it all over the screen, and that's your strobe light effect. Oh, so, like, has, like, okay, so, let's see, a triangle effect, okay. Let's uh, see that. Hmm. Make a triangle, but GIMP doesn't have, they have circles and squares, they don't have triangles. Okay. <laughs> How are we supposed to make one? Do they have a polygon, polygon drawing tool? Uh, they do have a polygon uh, magic tool. So, um, create a new layer. Oh, okay. This is my way you of You could create it. a square, make a line <laughs> diagonal through the square, Layers. color one of the squares, <laughs> then erase it and make it transparent. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, okay. Okay. And then, see the lasso tool? Yes. Uh, you can just click and uh, basically create a triangle. Oh, this okay. won't be exact. Yeah, I, I No, but that's not the point. Oh, and then I uh, just fill that in with uh, the bucket tool. The bucket tool, okay. Now it's going to be black in this case because we chose black, but mm -hmm. you know that's mm -hmm. the, there. You go. That's your strobe. Well, that's your incredibly <laughs> dark strobe. Light. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <quite. laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Alright. So. But that's literally. In this case, why didn't we just do it like the? Sprite editor in construct. in construct. Yeah, if we were just going to not be precise, <laughs> we could just draw a triangle yeah, in there. Yeah, you know what? That is a good point. <laughs> that, that, that is a good point, yes. And you know what? There could even be a triangle tool in construct. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to freehand it. We might so, as well all the way freehand it. Triangle. <laughs> triangle. Insert. Okay, let's do this. Double click. Uh, I don't think they do have the triangle tool, but they, have they do a have tool. a line tool. Yep, they do. And what is a triangle but just three lines? Exactly. Oh. Uh, its thickness is right now set to 50. Oh, goodness. Oh, uh, you want it higher? No. <laughs> <laughs> One's probably... And obviously the color we want to make sure. Ah, uh, we have a suggestion for Adobe Illustrator, which I think is probably the best thing for a triangle, if we wanted to make one. I'm not seeing it. I don't think it's overkill. Why am I not seeing the, the line? Oh, okay, here I am. I'm it's really light. It's really light, and it's actually not perfectly white. I can't see it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It is there. <laughs> okay, you know what? There, there, there was a way to see this. There. Oh, you can see it. That was magic. <laughs> uh oh, don't do the. Uh, okay, that is. There we go. Oh no, that corner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's so imprecise. Look it's not a triangle <laughs> anymore. <laughs> oh. I would lie to. <laughs> we have the um, the hint to use the shift key for straight lines. Does that work in Construct too? Um, well, we're using holding straight line tools. Oh. Yeah, straight line tools. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, that looks good. Well, okay. Yeah. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not an artist. <laughs> All right, so triangle. Oh, now it looks like a, you can put another triangle, it's like eyes, it's like a, a pump. So, a <laughs> so now we just have to have one point coming out from any location of the planet and then stretch it out so that it reaches beyond the edge of the screen. 
Can okay. we do this in code? Like have a so, crate? No. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was actually going to suggest that. Can we just have code for a triangle? We, we can have it spawn. <laughs> Let's spawn them at oh, random no, I'm points. saying actually have code draw a triangle. We can oh. do <laughs> I don't think we can do that in code. That concept. is a lot. But it's probably very efficient. Uh, <laughs> and again, it's just JavaScript. Just do a custom JavaScript <laughs> function. <laughs> okay. So stretch it vertically. Ver stretch it uh, ver vertically. Okay. Yeah. Here's me backstride, backstreet, <laughs> backseat driving. No, I like the backstreet driving. <laughs> <laughs> backstreet driving. And fine. then we can rotate it, and then you know have it come out, have it look like it's coming out of the planet or something. Oh, okay. Center oh. of the planet. Oh, um, like this? Yeah. And it can enlarge as it's coming out, like it's coming at you? Uh, and then it can, yeah. <laughs> so it starts really slow, and then the scale just... We can lurk the scale. Uh, <laughs> no? Uh, that kind of looks like it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Actually. Is it what you're going for? Okay. Uh, we, oh, oh you're going for the spotlight. a little closer to the center of the screen rather than the planet. I know I said that earlier. But <laughs> so something I, to that I effect. see what you're doing now. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So we like this. I like it. So it's, you know, you know, um, what are those places? Car dealers when they have sales and then all those spotlights come out. It's like that. Right? Oh, yeah. and then we add in a uh, theta behavior. Okay. That's, or is that an effect or a behavior? That should be a behavior. Yeah. Fade. Oh, fade. <clears throat> yeah, I used you. <laughs> now it's also flash. Uh, Do you think that would be better? Don't destroy after fade out. So right now it says destroy after fade out. Yeah. Uh, don't. No. Okay, we're just are we just gonna have it move around? Uh, I was thinking we have a lot of these on the screen, and okay. then um, that was just it. We have a lot of them on the screen, and then if they turn off, we turn them off back on again. Okay. A bunch of these. <laughs> Look at that super angry eyebrows. <laughs> 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 Anything fade will be better than flash in the effect? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You think fade is better than flash? So they yeah. are the flash. Are we going to stagger these fades or are they all going to do the same time? Uh, I, I'm excited. I think stagging is easy. You just add. You could just add to the fade out time there, point one or something. Or we do it in code. We'll create a variable for each one of these. That could keep an instance variable. Keep track of its own time. Well, this is not quite centered. It really doesn't matter too much to me. It just has to look nice. That's what matters. Okay. It doesn't matter. It just has to look good. <laughs> Which, okay, if this looks good to you, great. <laughs> oh, there is one thing I do want to change after all. What? Uh, change the bl blend mode to screen. Blend mode? Effects. Effects, okay. Oh, effects, okay. Just Right now it says blend mode is normal. Mm -hmm. Change that to, oh, it's, excuse me, it's additive. Additive, okay. Mm -hmm. Should do the job. Okay, that looks right. Alright, do we want to have this like be. Oh, it's gonna be just fading. So. I guess we could just try it. Yeah, it's not gonna repeat, so, I guess, right? Alright. So, what's this looking like? <laughs> like that. So, we just need to loop that somehow. Oh, okay. I am inclined to say we should probably create a new sheet, but anyway. Fade in time. Just put a oh, lower yeah. wait time and stuff. You could do it all there. Alright. <clears throat> um, so, wait time is when it, how long it stays invisible and. So one should be fine. Uh, but we do need to loop it. Once those triangles basically fade out, there should be an event to say, check to see whether it faded out and then uh, fade it back in again. Well, so Won't that? Yeah. Let's just see what it does without. Yeah. Uh, no, nope, it doesn't. Okay. <laughs> and then we can stagger the wait time, I guess. Mm. Anyways, but yeah, we'll need to uh, go to our event sheet to add those polishes in. Okay. Sounds good. We click that. Let me just make sure that this uh, windscreen has a event sheet. All right. Uh, event sheet two is the start ah. screen. Yeah. <coughs> that makes sense. 
Yeah, let's see if that sheet one say. Event sheet one is all this stuff, so. <laughs> uh, what's event sheet two then? Event sheet two is just it's just this one, so it might make the sense. Music. Yeah, it actually makes sense to put it in that one because mm -hmm. uh, we don't want a minimal amount of conflicts here. Yeah. Okay. Just make a new event sheet. We could, I could, but I, I like to yeah. keep it simple. Triangle. Triangle. Next. Yeah, and then let's see. Oh, on fade out finished. On um, what? Where is on fade um, out? Oh, on fade out there. On fade out finished. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Yeah, let's say add action and triangle. Uh, triangle. Uh, reset fade. Restart fade. Restart fade. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, reset. <laughs> Do they want to have it fade in before restarting the fade? So instead of fading, oh. so instead of fading out and then immediately being yeah, because we do have fade in. Well, no, it will fade in though. Restart mm -hmm. fade should fade in first. Oh, okay. Sure. Let's see. Let's see what it does. Okay. Okay. Um, and then what we can do is on start. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Do you stagger the wait times? Is that mm -hmm. what you wanted to do? You wanted to stagger the wait times? The wait time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, no, you can leave the wait time as it is right now. Go back to event sheet two. Okay. I think on add event. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go with triangle. Mm -hmm. uh, next on create. Uh, I can't see create, um, create, um, create. Yeah, um. and then uh, we can add an action, um, mm -hmm. and then set it at yeah, the triangle speed. Yeah, it says like set wait time. Set wait time? Nice. Uh, and then we can give it a random number. So, uh, random. It might be the same random number though, if they're all created at the, the yeah. same time. Yeah, well, that would. Not all, so. not all. That would be a low chance, right? All six of them? To Let's be go with zero to one. Zero. That's a huge time, though, one. But sure, let's find out what happens. Yeah, let's experiment. Oh. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad, huh? It has to warm up on that first one, but then it looks... Maybe it goes a little... Maybe it might get a little quicker, but... Mm. It's pretty cool. Alrighty. There we go. That's our win screen. Yeah. And we also should actually say win and give a button. <laughs> yes. I mean, those are all things. That's my super duper quick strobe light. <laughs> can I have it change colors? Yes, you can have things change colors, but I don't know if. <laughs> On restart, uh, right under fade, restart fade, say add action. Yes, so there we go. And then let's see, is there color? Hmm. Mm. Wait, we might be, there might be um, there might be a, a behavior or something we can do that with. So let's just see what we can do here. Uh, behaviors or maybe an effect. That's what I was thinking. I saw something on there for, for effect. Um, color. That looks right. No, it has a particular type of color. Yeah, it has a okay. Adjust HSL. Yeah, that looks good. All right, add. Sure, let's try this out. <laughs> All right, add, and then next. Oh, set, set, effect. Effect oh, yeah. set effect parameter. Oh, set effect parameter. There we go. And then we need to give it That's whatever the uh, parameter name is. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Which parameter? Assuming. Which <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. parameter is probably hue. So then we can give it a uh, random from zero to one. So, the fir so zero, it's right. So the first parameter is zero, right? <laughs> no, the, yeah, the first parameter is zero. That's probably hue. And then the second part is probably random. It okay. probably from is zero to one. Zero. Or would it be from zero to 255? I would assume it's one, but we can check. Well, let's, let's try one. Let's see what happens. I mean, it's not. Now, it's, we're not, it's not going to change anything because the hue is absolutely at zero. Mm -hmm. Like, the, there's going to be no difference here. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's what I expected. And then we mm -hmm. need to, the reason why is because the saturation is set to zero, so we need oh. to go back to our triangle. Okay. And color it differently. Color it, okay. Saturation. 
Oh, do we have to actually go in and color it? Or? Yeah, go on the triangle. Okay. So uh, give it right now. So basically, give it a red color. A red color. Um, but give it a light red color. Whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. approximately there. Okay. And then uh, there we did it. Yay! We did it. I right. actually like that. Let's. <laughs> ah. Not changing too much. It's changing. It looks like it was from areas. zero to one hundred, actually. <laughs> so change the instead of random zero to one. Yeah, try changing it to zero to one hundred. Oh, cancel. All right. Yeah, zero zero to one hundred. Yeah. Okay. Usually in colors, it goes like zero to two fifty five. Yeah. yeah, but hue is very hue saturation value is very different. Oh, it looks like it. Yeah, it's working. Oh, cool. Nice. <laughs> we can probably co uh, copy and paste that to the other line as well when the mm -hmm. uh, triangles are being created. Mm -hmm. So we'll start off with a random color as well. Yep, okay. And there will always be that color. This is subtle. just. Hmm? It's subtle, but. Right. This is just a really silly idea I have. <laughs> when you create your um, triangle, is it possible to set it to stop the fade out uh, and then have it wait before it starts to fade out again by a random number of seconds? Ooh, ooh. Or can I have it while they're all flashing, have the entire thing rotate? Ooh. Ooh. They just put oh. rotate behavior in the background. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would rotate the background, not the lights. Oh, oh I thought you meant the planet rotating. No, rotating the lights. Then we need to make the uh, the oh, origin that's... point of the triangle all the way to the top. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty, let's do it. But rotate is just the behavior, so that should be really easy to do. <clears throat> Sounds good. You could quick assign it to the top, too. But... What? Oh, if you right click on the image point thingy on the left of that menu thingy. Uh huh. On this and this. Oh yeah, yeah, that works. So quick, quick assign. Quick assign. And then that'll snap it to one of the locations, like you do top. So oh. that'll be top center. Oh. So oh, I guess our nice. triangle. <laughs> <laughs> no. We don't have a perfect triangle. Oh. oh dear. Yeah. So wow. I think I think we're just gonna freehand it. Yeah. <laughs> like we did the rest of it. Okay. It looks beautiful though. <laughs> and then we have rotate. Cool. All right, behavior. Wait, rotate. Rotate's in here, right? Yep, right there. Yeah. Rotate. There we go. Add. Uh -oh. oh, are we oh. adding too much? <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> All right, run layout. Let's see what it does. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's really nice. This is beautiful. I like this better. Yeah, I was thinking the I rotate. Think it, yeah, I think the uh, by changing the origin, you offset the position of all the makes triangles. Makes sense. It makes sense that we do that, but yeah. Yeah, and if you wanted to rotate him like a fan, you would need like um, yeah, you need something but to I, I pin like him to. This works. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this actually does look like the windscreen. <laughs> With yeah, that's right. You need to resize the triangle so mm -hmm. no matter what, they keep going off the edge of the screen because right now yeah, you can see them. So yeah, we need to, to, to go to the, the yeah we need to lengthen them a bit. Okay. Oh, and a couple of them are already off screen anyways. Oh. They're... Well, <laughs> just because you changed the yeah. <laughs> so, oh, well, the um the image oops. point and so. So we'll rearrange them a little bit. So I think if the other way to do it is you'd make it uh, something in the middle that's going to rotate, and you pin all the triangles at that image point to it, and you have just that other thing rotate, and not the triangles. Are you I suggesting to pin, pin something on another triangle and have it double <laughs> rotate? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, um, what would you call that, a rotor or something? You have it pinned on some other thing that's rotating. So the triangles don't rotate, the invisible thing rotates, but the oh, triangles are pinned to the thing that rotates. 
<laughs> I mean, that's... Probably. But that would be the, I think that would be the different effects, more like a fan, right? right. Not like here, which bum, is bum, like bum, bum, bum. blades. <laughs> or we could do that. <laughs> we I mean, could we could pin all of these to an invisible object. The invisible object spinning. <laughs> but keep all of these other triangles spinning as well. <laughs> like that one, yeah. <laughs> okay, do we have, how do we feel about this? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Needs to be more complex. That makes me, that makes me feel sick. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be much more complex. Well, we, we, need, we need to put an invisible object, pin them to the invisible object, spin the invisible slower. object. <laughs> oh, goodness. You can add acceleration so that these things spin faster and faster. Oh, only one of them is spinning slow. <laughs> Give them, oh, all right, now we gotta set random accelerations <laughs> at the creative point for all the rotations. Oh, gosh, 90, okay. All right, we're not. And random speeds. <laughs> all right, we're on layout. Everything has to be random. Come on, guys. All right. Whoosh. Uh, <laughs> well. Look at all the things you can do with concert <laughs> Now, do we want to get into shadow casters and try, <laughs> and try to get like 3D looking effects here with the Yes. <laughs> can we just add the text you win and call it? <laughs> <laughs> and we need to make uh, the you win text 3D and like spin. <laughs> well, oh, oh, okay. Is I it like going to be a sprite or a button? <laughs> what, like the, three, like the th Windows 3D text screen saver. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we do want the text to also spin. <laughs> spin or wobble or do some type of weird thing. Oh, I don't know if we can do a... We can make the text a particle. Uh, and it's always making... <laughs> it's just be like, you win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you like the yays and no's. <laughs> sure, why not? Particle. <laughs> <laughs> this has taken its life on its own. I am no longer part of this. <laughs> You'll no longer take part in this, yes. <laughs> All right. It's beautiful. You. I'm <laughs> 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 something about that brush sign. <laughs> yeah. Can we just do the letter U? <laughs> I does know. not like that brush size at 50, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> it's totally legible. <laughs> yeah, my handwriting is always legible. This is about as good as it's going to be. We're going to be buying a new tablet soon. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that won't help me. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. If it's not legible, we just make it bigger. <laughs> You're a winner. Oh, that's too that's too long tower. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna do is drag this down into the middle here. Nice. Lay out. Let's see what this just looks like right now. Oh well, yeah, it should be a continuous spray, right? It's just default and then <laughs> Yeah, we'd have to change the angle, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. And the and rate. The size. <laughs> and the size and the rate. But, you know, this is just numbers. <laughs> <laughs> let's change to everything. Yeah, let's, yeah, all right, size, let's do size, let's, I don't know. What's so, that? while thinking Ooh, about Game Maker's monitor. Toolkit. No, 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 no. <laughs> while thinking about Game Maker's Toolkit, I was thinking about making a soccer game where you are the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking about it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that's soccer without the players. Players. Okay. It's soccer where you don't goal. You're the ball. You get to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> yeah, that works out. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you got your game. Oh, you oh sweet. <laughs> I mean obviously you want to change the angle to go all three sixty direction, I, I would assume. Okay. Well, you make it assumptions, which you know the that's an acronym for some beautiful phrasing. You also need to have the uh, particle object bounce around the screen. 
that's in front of the screen. Oh, oh. <laughs> well, then it's fine. You know, we could just make it uh, more bullet behavior and bounces off solids. Exactly. And then just put invisible silos yes. around the screen. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> And then they have to click it in order if they want to restart that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's still just. Can you slow that down? Just, is, that, is, that, is, that, is that faster? I, Do you guys I, like I, I can speed? slow it down. I can slow it down. I can slow it down. Uh, like the rate of them coming out, really, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. just. But what does one just look like? One? Yeah. Sure. Is that, one. For the rate, I mean, not the speed. Oops. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that actually has a really cool effect. I kind of like. Yeah, it does. It does kind of work. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read, though. Yeah, I was just wondering if the rate would make it more legible. But that's it. Uh, uh, rate. Oh yeah. Because then it just I shoots could. one, and then and then waits a bit, and then shoots again. Let's see. I, I guess it's, maybe it's too slow. It's interesting that there's acceleration. Hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no acceleration parameter at all. Yeah, well. <laughs> Never noticed that. Yeah. Let's go three. <clears throat> Lay out, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I still think we need to have it sort of move around the screen just a little bit. Hmm. You like the dancing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I mean, it's not really dancing. Okay, it's okay, just... no, can you just add a bullet behavior to it? And then it just... I could add... Yeah. Wait, I can add sign behavior. Yeah, sign works. Yeah, sign yep, that works. works. There we go. And then... Uh, well, we could even do a scale so it gets larger, right? With the mm -hmm. sign. So let's just see what this looks like right now. Let's see. It doesn't look like it. Oh, okay. It's a sort of. <laughs> it, it is technically working. It is. Yeah, it just you know it's destroyed. And it's not very subtle. It's fighting each other. A little bit too subtle. <laughs> it's compared to each other. But <laughs> I feel like it probably make the magnitude five thousand. Then it won't be yes. so subtle. Subtle. <laughs> 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 so this that. game has no subtlety. Oh. <laughs> Magnitude random. Oh gosh. Yeah, I don't know if we notice. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know how random it would. Anyway, let's try. Well, now it's like getting shot all over. <laughs> it's only really moving side to side. Side, not oh, yeah, right it's now. a horizontal yeah, sign. It's horizontal. You could add another sign yeah, behavior vertical. input vertical on it okay. if you like, but um, yeah, you could just add a second one too if you want a horizontal and vertical behavior. I don't know if I can do that, but let me see. Yeah, just another sign. Oh, there it is, okay. Yeah, I mean, cool, okay. Some kids started piling that on their thing. So. <laughs> of course they did. <laughs> 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 you can't still find that kind of thing. I wanted to move this way, this way, and scale. <laughs> Like a party. <laughs> yeah, I think the vertical magnitude you just have to yeah. change if you want it more, yeah, but otherwise, yeah. yeah. That's kind of cool. It's like getting printed all over. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, alright, so we need, okay, magnitude, let's see what we have. I don't want it to quite be 500. Well, uh, 200. 200 might be good, yeah. Let's see what we get here. 500 divided by 2? <laughs> oh no. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> kind oh, no. of yeah, ending up being. I want to change the period. Yeah, the period needs to be <coughs> different because right now it's just going in sleep. <coughs> Maybe it's like one. Period random. <laughs> you just want to make everything random. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> I have to say, I'm having a lot of fun with all, all the suggestions and everything. Yeah. <laughs> I've never thought to try this. <laughs> I think probably just the magnitude for the X is a little smaller because small. sometimes it gets off screen. But this looks, it's kind of cool. It's like, choo, 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 choo. maybe like the people on the planet Neptune are screaming, you win. That's <laughs> <laughs> yep. and, mm -hmm. and somehow you can hear it. Yep. <clears throat> Oh, 
All righty. <laughs> the most exciting windscreen ever. Yeah. <laughs> Can we add the crayfish doing the same animation as the... Uh, <laughs> yeah, we need to add the crayfish. We do. Maybe have it do the same sine wave thing. Oh, yeah. I have... A, I have um, all right, okay, so we have crayfish. I have the crayfish. I mean, you can. Pro oh, yeah, no, wait. This is a separate scene, so the event is not there. That's good. Mm -hmm. <coughs> we may need to create a second. We may need to duplicate the crayfish so that. So you have the windscreen. Oh, uh, yeah, let's do crayfish win. <laughs> oh. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then we can have the crayfish win. In here. Oh. Hi. What? <laughs> Why are you so big? <laughs> but there we go. The crayfish will be right there. And then, uh, yeah, we can take out the drag and drop or drag and drop behavior. Yeah. All right. Just uh, drag and drop. This crayfish went right. I, I didn't just yeah. destroy everything in my game. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> All right, and we'll have another sign. The windscreen will still work. <laughs> no. All right, so horizontal, vertical. I don't want to mess with the period, so it's actually like. I still like the idea of the random period. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> no. Fine, we'll, we'll add it. We'll add random, seconds to the period. Uh, let's do up to this value. Uh, let's see. I don't know if it'll five. do any. Yeah, five. Sure, let's do five. Point two. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, let's, see. let's see what our, 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 our period is. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the magnitude is really small. So I'll explain a lot of things. Right. You might want to move the crayfish a little lower on the Z. What? Or mid. Like if the particles come over it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was thinking about that too. It might look a little weird though. But. I what are know. the other types of signs? Oh, there's just. Oh, oh there's. Cosine, like buzz saws and other <laughs> things. Oh, sign. Um, there's size, width, height, angle, opacity, value only. I'm not sure what that one. Oh, is. I'd be interested to see what angle would do. I thought you were talking about wave. Wave is the one with the. Mm -hmm. the other uh, I think it's zero to three sixty. I'm just. Well, let's see what happens. <laughs> that actually looks kind of nice. <laughs> 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 I think what the easiest would just be moving the order of the UN higher in the yeah, character. Yeah, that, that makes sense. There's the forward and backward sign movement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of uh, under the wave movements there that, that would probably be fun to test. But, uh, Try clicking. Uh, Z order? Uh, is it Z order? There we go. Oh, that's useful. Yes, let me just pop it under here. There we go. <laughs> That's only available in the. <laughs> is that available in the free version of Construct? The Edit Z order? I don't know. No, it's not. Yeah, I didn't. Okay, because I was like, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> why have I not seen that? <laughs> oh, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting pretty spoiled over here. <laughs> All right. And it, it's a windscreen. <laughs> it's a windscreen. We still don't have a button. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we, 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 we get Pin to the, the button to the crayfish. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, please don't. You are ruining my poor wee sensibility heart. You don't like moving buttons? <laughs> oh, do you just want us to click on the crayfish to restart, not a button? 
I, I didn't realize that you had such a thing for buttons. <laughs> um, okay. Need a tar. <laughs> Oh, I've never met somebody who cared so deeply about button management. Oh no, no, we give the button the bullet function. <laughs> they gotta chase it. <laughs> it has a random speed. And <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hopefully, it can't fly off the screen. Replay. There we go. So there we go. We got our, our dancing crayfish. <laughs> and replay button. <laughs> I win. But there's. There's so much feeling. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, it's, wait, is it stretching a little, or is that? Hmm? No. It shouldn't be, but that doesn't mean it's not. What? <laughs> what do we think? Like, like the crayfish, look at the, the length of it. I don't think it's stretching.